Mr. Michael, I have gone through your CV and I must confess, I am really impressed with what I am seeing. Thank you very much, sir. It is a privilege to hear this from you. If I may ask, why did you leave your former work? The owner of the company decided to shut down and sacked all the staffs. Hmm, for no reason. He kept saying he had his reasons. Okay then, you will start from the lowest level. You can only be promoted through hard work. Okay, sir. I just hope you will do your best to help in the growth of this company. Give me a chance, sir, and you'll be glad you did. I will inform the head of your work department to show you around and to tell you on your work. That would be great, sir. Good morning, Mr. Donald. Good morning, Miss Favor. What can I do for you? I hope I didn't interrupt anything. Not at all. This is Michael. He is our new employee. He will be starting tomorrow. Michael, this is Favor, the HR of this company. Treat her with maximum respect, because her position is far higher than yours. Welcome, Michael. You were lucky you were chosen out of the 20 applicants. Thank you, ma. It will be a pleasure to work in this great company. Miss Favor, are you busy? No, sir. I came to have a little discussion with you. But since you're busy, I will come back later. I was actually thinking of telling Mr. Lazarus to show him around and to tell him. But since you are here, I trust you to help him out perfectly. Your wish is my command, sir. You can go with her, Michael. <laughs> I'm so exhausted. I need a very warm bath right now. Ah, babe, how far now? I didn't hear you walking. This is such a nice aroma. What are you cooking? Your favorite. Don't worry, you'll like it. You are really a lifesaver because I'm so famished right now. I guess today was really hectic. Yes, it was. Because of the new employee, I literally had to do his job and mine at the same time. Why now? Isn't he familiar with the job? He has a little knowledge about it, so I had to show him how to go about it by doing his job. Hey, uh, sorry dear. Why not go in and freshen up while I set the table? Thank you. But why didn't you go to work today? Nothing much. I just wanted to rest. Mm, your own beta. You are your own boss. Funny you. Have you heard from Peace? Yeah, I called her in the morning. Her birthday is in two days time. We have to surprise her. Yeah, we will plan that later. Let's go in. Yes, ma. <laughs> Justin, you are all alone now. Michael has left the jobless men gang. The best answer for a fool is to keep quiet. Congrats, bro. Thank you. Being jobless is the worst thing that can ever happen to a man. Shut up, Jerry. Just because you have gotten a job, you now turn to a motivational speaker. <laughs> I beg, free me. You don't know how happy I am to get that job. How was your day like? Not too much. I wasn't allowed to do anything, apart from to get familiar with the building and my job there. Wow, that's interesting. I tap from your blessing. The most important part is that a very beautiful female colleague of mine was choosing to show me around and to tell me. I hope you know your work there. Your work is not to follow women around. Focus on what you went there to do. See me see Kesu. What did I see wrong? Don't mind him. Have you forgotten who he is? Mr. Holia Dandao. I have said my own. I don't want to hear that he has served too. Nothing of such. The work is quite easy. So I'll be starting tomorrow. Okay. Oh. Good morning, my dear. I hope you slept well. Good morning, Dad. Yes, Dad. Your call woke me up. I hope there's no problem. Not at all. I just want to wish you a happy birthday. Thank you, Daddy. I hope you slept well, too. No, I couldn't sleep all through the night. Why? I hope everything is okay. How can everything be okay when today is your birthday and you are still single? What? Are you kidding me? And so, when did it become a crime to be single at 30? Stop pretending as if you are not bothered. For God's sake, please. 
You just turned 30. I can't believe you are saying this. Daddy, please, it's too early for this. Don't spoil my day for me. At what age do you want to get married and start giving me grandchildren? Go and get yourself a husband. You are not getting any younger. Take care of yourself, Dad. We will talk later. Hmm. This man can stop for Africa. <laughs> Ah, birthday girl. Why are you sitting here now? I thought you were already dressed for the party. As in a, and it doesn't even look like she's ready to go anywhere. Where are you girls standing? Sit down, Jerry. Aren't we celebrating your birthday again? I don't have the strength to do so. What are you talking about? See, don't try me. Oh. I took permission from the office just to attend your birthday party. And you're telling me you don't have strength. I know you are joking. I'm very serious. My dad just poised the whole thing this morning. Your dad again? I guess that's not a good news. It's definitely not a good news. He was talking about me not being married at the age of 30. And so? Is being single a crime? And you allow that to weigh you down? I wonder, you're just getting yourself worked up for nothing. Even the Bible is not against singleness. If you think I am lying, go check 1 Corinthians 7 verse 8. My dad is right, you know. I just turned 30. You both are saying this because you're not in my shoes. You both are still very young. You still have a chance to get married. I won't sit here and watch you become all sober on your birthday. Go in there and get dressed, Joel. We must celebrate your 30th birthday. But I don't want to come now. Is it a must? Yes, it's a must. Let's go, Jerry. <laughs> Hey, baby. Where have you been, Elizabeth? Hold on. You can't even offer me a seat and you're already lashing out at me. You can sit if you want and answer my question. Is this how to welcome me to your house? I am not in the mood for jokes, Elizabeth. Where were you? I came to your house last night. I stayed till midnight, but you did not come. Where did you spend the night? Why are you shouting at me? What did I do wrong? Don't tell me you want to start crying again. You know I don't like it when you shout at me. I'm sorry. I don't intend to make you cry. Sorry for shouting. You could have just asked the question as a gentleman. Please, don't cry. I won't shout at you again. So you are angry because you came to my house and I wasn't there? I was angry because you didn't spend the night at your house. Favor wasn't there either. You know I don't owe you any explanation. If you want me to be answerable to you all the time, then put a ring on my finger. But I'll still tell you, Sha. Please do, because I'm very angry right now. Yesterday was my friend's birthday, so she held a little party, and by the time the party ended, it was already late. So, we had to spend the night at her house. Which of your friends? Because I only know of your roommate's favor. Well, I have another friend. I'll introduce her to you soon. So was that why you didn't pick my calls? I'm sorry, my phone was on silent and it was in my purse, so I didn't hear it ring. I only saw the missed calls this morning. I was really worried. I called Favor too, but she didn't pick up. Sorry for getting you walked up. It's okay. Let me get you something to drink. Good morning, ma. Good morning, Michael. How may I help you? Ma, I don't understand the content of the documents you have to me. All right. Go back to your office. I will tell the head of your work department to assist you. He already did, but I didn't understand anything he explained. Why? Weren't you paying attention to him? I was, but he didn't explain it well, so I think it's best if you do it yourself. Mr. Michael, it is not my job to explain details of your work to you. I only did it in the first day because I had nothing to do. I know, ma. I'm sorry for bothering you, but you are the only one that can explain it well to me. Are you with a document? No, ma. It is in my office. You are not serious then. How can you leave the document in your office and come here empty-handed? How then do you want me to explain it to you? I'm sorry, ma. I'll go get it immediately. Please do, so I can finish on time, because I have so much work on my desk. Okay, ma. Can you 
imagined this boy. You're still sleeping by this time of the day? Good morning, mom. Why are you still on bed by this time, Justin? I'm tired, mom. I need some rest. You're tired from what exactly? When the only thing you do for a living is to sleep, wake up, eat my food, and roam about. I guess you didn't come to remind me of my joblessness. You will get up from there and pack my goods to the market. Where is that? He can at least take them to the market with his car. Your dad is going to be a man. So get up from there and also be a man. Mom, please stop. I'm not in the mood for this right now. You're not in the mood for what? Get up from there and pack my goods to the market. Don't worry, Mom. Go. I will join you soon. I will be waiting for you in the sitting room. And make sure you don't keep me waiting. Good morning, Ma. Good morning, Joshua. Any appointments today? Yes, Ma. You have a meeting with the CEO of MacLeod Enterprises by 10 a.m. And dinner with Mr. Rufus concerning the contract proposal he brought to you to the office the other day by 6 p.m. Is that all? Just two appointments? No, Ma. You also have a meeting with Mr. Makinwa. He called earlier to inform us that his secretary will be presenting him. Why do I have to be in a meeting with his secretary? If he cannot come himself, then cancel the contract. Um, Ma, I think it's a bad idea if we cancel it. We will lose a lot of money. We have already invested too much already. His company would lose too. If the contract is really important to him, then he will come himself. I cannot be in a meeting with his secretary. Mr. Mackinwa is totally wrong for involving his secretary. But I still think we should not cancel the contract. The company will suffer a great loss. Then you will represent me, because I will be going to that meeting with her. Okay, ma. Let me get ready. You may leave. Thank you. Such a handsome secretary. I just wish I could have him to myself, so my father will stop bothering me to get a husband. Hey baby, I am not happy about the fact that your three hours passed from the agreed time for you to come here. Sorry, day. You know my nature of work. Sometimes you get an impromptu call from a client. Seriously, this your busy schedule is getting out of hand. Is this what will happen when we eventually get married? So what do you want me to do? There is no need for you to get angry. Is there a way you can squeeze me in your schedule sometimes? Instead of always making me beg you to come visit me all the time. Why are you sounding as if I don't come here to see you? At least I am here now. You only come here occasionally. It is not supposed to be so. We are engaged for God's sake. And so? So because we are engaged, I can't continue my job as an event planner in peace. Baby, please. You have to think about us. This your job is getting in between us. If you cannot support what I love doing, then you don't love me. Think about it, please. We cannot raise our children if you continue doing this job. We will be getting married soon. Enough of this, Pascal. My job is my first priority. If you cannot cope with it, then you walk away. Oh, not again. Why are you always angry whenever I come to see you? Why are you here again? I thought I have explained everything you wanted. It is time for lunch. I came to ask you if you would like to have lunch. No, thanks. I still have some unfinished files to attend to before going home. It doesn't matter. It's just a 30 minutes break. It won't take anything from you. 30 minutes is a long period to be wasted. Go ahead, Mr. Michael. I am not hungry. Hmm. I know you are my boss, but... I'm glad you know I am your boss. So don't cross the boundary. I'm not crossing any boundary. I just need your hand of friendship. You are not in my level mr michael i am far higher than you in this company so we can only have a boss and junior staff relationship it's okay by me as long as i get to see you every day i don't care now that i have made myself clear can you please leave no ma i can't see you work from morning without having anything to eat or even going on a break like i said before i am not hungry so go ahead and leave what can i get for you at the cafeteria hmm. i can see you don't want to give up huh absolutely not so tell me what you want to eat i'll get it for you hmm. okay Okay, just get me whatever you want to eat. Okay, ma, I'll be right back.
Good evening, Dad. Good evening, my son. Where have you been? I was in the market with mom. When did you come back from work? Not too long. I am very hungry. Can't wait for her to come back. Okay, then. Let me quickly get you something to eat in the kitchen. No, don't bother. I'll wait for her to come back. But you said you are very hungry. I don't just think it is wise for you to touch her pot when she's not here. Besides, I can't eat alone. I'm used to eating with her. Hmm, okay. But dad, I have a complaint to make. What is it again? I thought I gave you some money two days ago. I didn't say I want to borrow money. I only said I have a complaint to make. Okay, what is it? I don't like the way mom treats me in this house. She treats me like a child just because I'm jobless. Ha <laughs> but you are indeed her child, especially when we still feed you. So dad, you are saying there's nothing wrong with the way she treats me? It's okay. I will talk to her when she comes back. Please do, because I'm not finding this funny anymore. I can't believe you eventually reporting my wife to me. She's my mother. Don't drag my wife with me go in and get me a glass of water okay dad man my home is not giving me breathing space at all how will she give you breathing space when she literally does everything for you justin i think it's high time you go out and find a job it's no longer funny and who told you i'm not looking for a job so why haven't they called you for an interview yet how many companies have you submitted your cv so many i can't even count have you crossed checked your cv maybe it's not good enough do you want me to remind you who the most intelligent is among the three of us guy this thing is not about being intelligent or you don't even have any working experience how am i supposed to have a work experience when i'm not even given a chance it is really bad that after five years of graduating from university you are still jobless i swear that is the worst feeling ever after all the sufferings in school yes there is nothing to show for apart from your certificate i will keep on submitting to other companies anyway i pray one of those companies should call me but wait who is it really compulsory for you to work in a company so where else do you want me to work there are so many other places you can work in what about teaching in a private school no let him continue waiting for his company work i take that as an insult how can a graduate of political science become a teacher bro you don't have to work according to what you study in the school go for what is that really justin i know your problem you are looking for a place where you'd sit all day in an ac at least that is what every citizen of nigeria wants keep on waiting i just pity your parents for still feeding an overgrown man like you i guess his parents will still be the ones to marry a wife for him you both can say whatever you want i don't care Good afternoon, my love. Pascal, what are you doing in my house? Baby, why are you sounding this way now? Am I no longer welcomed in your house? I know you want to get words from my mouth. I have been calling, but you refuse picking my calls. Don't tell me you are still angry. Of course, I am still angry with you. And you are yet to apologize for what you said to me at your house. I didn't insult you in any way. I only told you my mind. Complaining about my job, it's an insult to me. I only told you to create time for me. That's all. Well, I got offended and I am waiting for your apology. Hmm. Okay. I am sorry for saying out my mind to you. I promise to keep it to myself next time. What kind of apology is that, Pascal? Don't tell me you are also offended by my apology. Just leave my house. You can come back when you are in your right senses. Hmm. I am tolerating all this because of the love I have for you. Whatever. I am sorry for what I said to you the other day. I didn't mean to offend you. Better. Now you can have a seat. What can I offer you? Nothing. I don't need anything. So now it is your turn to get angry, huh? Tell me what you want to take, Jerry. Just give me a glass of water. Okay. Babe, how far now? You no go work today. I went to work. I just decided to come back early today. Okay. Waiting day this house to chop. As waiting. Do I resemble your house girl? I beg enter the kitchen, Jerry. You get mine though. You know how stressful my job is now. What is making it stressful? Are you still tutoring the new staff? Not at all. But he keeps bothering my life all the time. As in, I don't understand. He is not able to do his job. He is. I don't know what he wants from me. He comes to my office every day just to say hi to me. Wow, that's nice of him. I can already imagine him to be a great guy. Well, I don't care what he is. I just want him to stop coming. Then make it known to him. Maybe he's not aware you don't like the idea of him coming to see you. I have told him so. 
so many times. The more I push him away, the more he keeps coming. Well, I don't see anything wrong with that. Maybe he just wants to be your friend. Whatever. He will stop when he gets tired. So that is the reason why you're always tired from work? You are asking us if I go there to play. I work and I work very hard. That is why I am always tired. Whatever. Go and change jobs so we can cook together. I'm tired now. Oh yeah, cook today. I'll cook tomorrow. Let's take turns. Look at this one. You think you can fool me? How many times have you said this particular thing but you will end up using tiredness to cover up? Small mommy, please now. Let's go to the kitchen, Jerry. Good afternoon, ma. You sent for me. Yes, I did. Please have a seat. Thank you. I hope there is no problem, ma. There is no problem at all. I just want to have a little discussion with you. Okay, ma. Um, Joshua, I want to applaud you for working so hard just to make this company grow. You don't have to thank me, ma. I'm just doing my job. Please stop calling me, ma. Just call me peace. I'm sorry, ma, but I can't do that. You are the CEO of this company. I have to accord you some respect. It's okay. I want to ask you a question. Please just be sincere with me. Hmm. Okay, ma. Are you married? No ma, I'm not. You could have just checked my CV. I wanted to hear the answer from the host's mouth. I'm not married, but I'm in a very serious relationship. I'm hoping to marry her soon. Hmm. That means there is no hope for me. Excuse me? See, I lied to my dad yesterday that I have a man. He wants me to bring the man to the house today. But unfortunately, I don't have a man. So what has that got to do with me ma? I want you to come with me and pretend to be my man for today. I promise to triple your salary for this month. <laughs> I'm sorry ma, I can't do that. I will triple your salary. I heard when you said it. I don't want to increment. Just pay me the normal salary for my hard work. Anyway, I didn't expect you to agree to it immediately. Go home and think about it. Just have it in mind that I won't do it. Please, can I go to my office now? Please think about it. You may go. Thank you, ma. Good evening, Dad. I have been waiting for you since afternoon. You promised to come back with your suit up in the afternoon. Sorry, Dad. I had some things to finish up first before coming back. It's okay. I hope today wasn't stressful. Not at all. I want to go in and freshen up. Wait, but what about the man you promised to introduce to me? Dad, please. I'm really not in the mood right now. We'll talk about it later. What do you mean by that? You have to talk about it now. Well, as you can see, he's not here. Why are you lying to me when you said you are in a relationship? I wasn't lying. I will introduce him to you another day. I want to see him today. He's not available today. He is very busy. So what will I do now? Because I'll be traveling back tomorrow morning. You can see him another day. It is not a must to see him today. I guess he will be free tomorrow afternoon. Make sure you come back with him. I want to see him before I travel back. I'm sorry for keeping you waiting, Mr. Pascal. It's all my secretary's fault. She told me the meeting will be scheduled by 3 p.m. It's okay. I totally understand. Besides, I haven't been here for long. Okay, so let's get down to business. Aren't you at least going to take anything? I'm okay. I just want to get over and done with so I can attend to other things. Okay. I prepared three colors for the design. Are we using all the colors? Not really. We are using just one. So choose one of them. Yellow, blue or black. Why would you even include black in the colors? Anyways, I chose blue. Blue is the matured color and is the perfect color for it. Pascal. So this is what you have been doing behind my back, Abby? Blessing. What are you doing here? I should be the one asking you that. What are you doing here with this hall? Excuse me. What did you just call me? I am really sorry, Belinda. She is my fiancé. What are you sorry for? So she is the reason why you've been ignoring my calls, Abby? I am not ignoring your calls. I am not even with my phone. I forgot it in the office. Oh, shut up, you bloody liar. What do you really take me for? What is the meaning of this blessing? Why are you embarrassing me this way? So you've been asking another woman all this while. What does she have that I don't have? Mr. Pascal, I will give you time to sort out your relationship issues. Call me when you are free.
You still have the mouth to tell him to call you. Useless woman. Don't go and look for your own man. Nonsense. Pascal, where are you going to? Come back here. I'm not done with you. Good morning, Joshua. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you, ma. Please, can I sit? Yeah, go ahead. Thank you. I'm really happy to know that you're not angry with me. Why should I be angry with you? Concerning our last discussion. Oh, about that, it's nothing. I actually appreciate the fact that you said your mind. Instead of doing what you don't want to do, just because I'm your boss. Thank you, ma. But I'm here because of that. Have you changed your mind? No, but I have a very handsome friend who can help you out. Thank you for your concern. But I actually thought it would be you. I would have said yes if I wasn't in a serious relationship. I'm not asking you to do anything. I just want you to follow me to my house and tell my father that you're my fiance. That's all. Please, ma. I already told you no. It's hard to say it again. Hmm. It's okay, Sha. I understand. So this is your friend. What does he do for a living? Um, I think it would be better if we have this discussion with him instead. Why didn't you come with him? I can't just bring someone here without your permission. Okay then, come with him tomorrow. I just hope he is as handsome as you. He is even more handsome. Okay, no problem about that. You can go back to your office. Thank you, ma. Good morning, Fivo. You dare not call me by my name. You can only address me as Ma because I am higher than you in position. I'm sorry about that. Good morning, Ma. Good morning, Michael. Why didn't you knock before coming? What if I was with a visitor? I peeped before coming in. I would have turned back if you were with a visitor. That is a bad habit. Always knock before coming in. I'm sorry about that. So how was your night? Don't tell me you left your office this morning just to inquire about my night. Yes, Ma. Actually, I wanted to stay the whole day before coming here. Well, I couldn't concentrate. That's why I came. I hope you don't have a problem with that. It's not about me having a problem. I don't want the MD to find out you spend most of your time in my office. You will definitely be in trouble. I don't spend most of my time here. I only come here in the morning to say hi before resuming. Don't make it a habit, Michael. I don't want you to be in trouble. I just need a favor from you, please. What kind of favor? I want to have lunch with you today during break period. You should know what my answer is even without asking. A very big no. Hmm, okay. I don't want to force you. Go back to your office. This is working hour. Thank you, ma. Babe, how far now? This one that you're not answering me, what's the problem? Just let me be, please. I am not in a good mood right now. What is the problem? Who got you angry? Could you believe that Pascal is cheating on me? Oh my god. I knew it's about Pascal. To think that it's not even up to two months he proposed to me. And he's already chasing another woman. How do you know he's cheating on you? Did you see him with a woman? I wouldn't be saying what I don't know. I caught him red-handed with a woman in an eatery. Why would Pascal do such a thing? I thought he's a gentleman. Gentleman for where? It just proved to me that all men are the same. No, now. No, don't say that. All men are not the same. We still have good ones out there. Pascal is a real pretender. Who would have thought he would cheat on me with all the beauty I've got? But did you ask him who the woman is? What else would he say other than to tell me she's a client from work? But what if she is truly a client? She is not his client. I saw the way she looked at him. Remember you also go out on a date with clients. You should know how these things work now. You should understand the nature of his job. Wait. Anna, are you trying to aid Pascal? Are you trying to defend him? I'm not defending him. I'm just saying the possibilities of things here. Pascal is cheating on me. Simple. Hmm. So what are you going to do now? Will you return his ring? I won't. But I won't forgive him easily. Hmm, babe, just be careful. Good men like Pascal are very hard to find. Whatever. Good 
Good morning, ma. I hope I'm not disturbing you. No, not at all. Okay, um, this is Justin, the guy I told you about. Good morning, ma. Good morning, Justin. You're welcome. Thank you, ma. Um, Joshua, you may leave us. Okay, ma. Justin, you can have a seat. Thank you. I guess Joshua must have told you everything already. Yes, he did. Okay, I want you to answer me sincerely. Are you willing to do it? Yes, I am. But I want to know what I stand to gain from it. I will give you 50,000 Naira. Just 50,000? No, nah. 50,000 is too small. It's just a one day something. It's not like you'll be coming over regularly. I have to make myself available whenever your dad wants to see me. So how much do you want? I want to work in your company. If you let me work here, I'll make sure to give your dad a good impression and he will not bother you about getting married again. I cannot employ you in my company. You are just asking for too much. Maybe I'll look for someone else. You haven't even looked at my CV and you're already concluding that you can't give me a chance. Okay, fine. You can bring your CV tomorrow, but we have to see my dad today. Okay, then. That's settled. I believe you are still angry with me. Please, if you came here to talk about the design, then go ahead. We can't possibly discuss business when your mood is like this. Then you have to go and come back because I haven't still gotten over the embarrassment. I know how you feel. I was embarrassed too. How do you cope with such woman to the point of engaging her? It's love. I believe she is doing all these things because she loves me too much and doesn't want to share me with anybody. What kind of love is that? That is our insecurity. She doesn't trust you one bit. I am not trying to justify what she did, but her past relationships turned her into this insecure woman she is now. Now, wow. You really have to talk to her. That is not enough reason for her to do what she did. I am really sorry. I promise it won't happen again. It's better not because I won't control myself next time. I will so deal with her. It hasn't gotten to that. Please forgive and let go. It's okay. I have worked with you for a long time. I won't let some insecure woman destroy my business with you. Thank you. In fact, I promise to do three more designs for you for free. Really? Ah, thank you. Hey, Daddy. My precious daughter, I have been waiting for you since. Good afternoon, sir. It seems I'm not seeing you clearly. Peace, is this the young man? Yes, Daddy. This is Justin, my fiance. My love, meet my dad, your soon-to-be father-in-law. Nice to meet you, sir. I've heard so many things about you. Thank you, my son. Please have a seat. Thank you. I didn't expect such a young man like you to be her father. <laughs> that is such a nice compliment. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Go in and prepare something for us to eat. I want to have a little discussion with my future son-in-law. Take it easy, Dad. He'll be spending the whole day with us. Go and do as I say. Get us something to drink first. Okay, Dad. Now I see where Peace got her beauty from. She looks a little bit like me, but she's a replica of her mom. What about her mother? Well, she hasn't told me anything about her family. Maybe she's not ready to talk about it. But her mom passed on a few years ago. Chai, such a pity. Okay, I'm really sorry to hear that. Thank you, my son. So what do you do for a living? I, I, I am an engineer. Wow, that's nice. I'm really happy to finally meet you. Yota is such a wonderful soul. So when do you plan on coming with your people so both can sign the note together? Very soon. It won't take too long. Okay, I'll be waiting. Good evening, my love. Welcome, sunshine. I hope traffic didn't disturb you much. No, not at all. It was just as if there was no traffic today. So how are you doing? I missed you so much. I'm fine and I missed you too, my love. I don't think you missed me at all. Why would you say that? You know I always miss you. They're moving with me. <laughs> 
Are you kidding me right now? I should move in as what? As my wife to be now. Have we ever discussed marriage before? Even if we don't discuss marriage, we should know that you're the one I want to spend the rest of my life with. <laughs> you're not serious at all. Anyway, I don't believe in moving into a man's house before marriage. Why now? But I told you to stay with me. Then you do the right thing. I promised myself never to move in with a guy I'm not married to. What is the big deal there? It's not like you're a child or something. Stop it, Joshua. If you want me to move in with you, then make me your wife first. Justin, how far now? Just us are big. I can't wait to hear it. As in there, uh, it is going to be an interesting news. Nothing much happened. Her dad is a very nice man, and she is nice too. So how much did she give to you as a reward? She wanted to give me 50,000 naira, but I rejected it. Why now? You didn't tell me you wanted to do it for free for her. Is there anything free in this generation? I know you must have gotten something from her. Yes, now. I told her I needed a job in her company, and she told me to submit my CV. <laughs> Justin, the bad guy. That was a very smart move. I like the idea. Just take your CV there. I believe she'll give you the job. So Michael, how about your new job? The job is cool. I am now an expert. Apart from the fact that there is a girl I like in that company, but she is for me hard to get just because she's my boss. It's barely three months you got that job. I already know those that are for me hard to get. Mike, don't you think it's still very early for you to get in trouble? I don't understand because I have a crush on someone. Not just someone, but your boss. I don't care. The most funny part is that the more she pushes me away, the more I I get drawn to her. Just be careful. That girl is beautiful and she has so much money. I must have her to myself. Oga, what took you so long now? I'm sorry there. I couldn't find it nearby. So what do we do now? I'm seriously craving for ice cream. Are you sure you checked elsewhere? I did. That was what took me so long. Hmm. Okay. I'll get it on my way home. I'm still surprised to see you in my house by this time. You only come during the weekend. That is when you always have chance now because of work. So today that you came to my house, didn't I go to work? Well, the house was really dull when Fever left for work. She is not back from work yet. She is, but she went to work again. Hmm. Okay. I'm very happy you are here. So apart from ice cream, you don't want to take any other thing? I don't want anything. The only thing I want, you can't get it for me. Don't sound as if I purposely don't want to get it for you. I'm not blaming you, Sha. I'm only trying to tell you that I'm okay. I hope you are spending the night here today. Can you not always bring up the topic whenever I come here? What is wrong with what I just said? Are you not my girlfriend? I am your girlfriend and not your wife. I won't let you touch me until our wedding night. Why all this long protocol? I will still marry you after all. Until then, don't bother me again about spending the night in your house. I'm so exhausted. I can't wait to go home. This is not an easy job at all. I just pray we should be able to complete it in three days' time. We will. It is not really hard for me. I have dealt with much harder contracts than this. I know. You have been there for a long time and you are more experienced. Yeah. So how long have you been there? More than five years. I started working there immediately after my graduation from the university. Wow. You were really lucky. Most of us have to stay in the house for a long time before getting a job. So this is your first time of working after graduation? Not really, but this is the highest paying job I've gotten. Wow. You must live an average life then. Exactly. I'm not from a rich home. I take care of myself. Same here. I don't have anybody. I went to school on scholarship all through my secondary school and university. Wow. I've always known you are intelligent. <laughs> Thank you. I hope I'm allowed to call you now by your name that we are outside the company premises. I know you have always wanted to call me by my name, so go ahead. Your name is as beautiful as you. Thank you, Michael. I want to go so I can wake up early tomorrow morning for work. Okay then. Let me drop you at home. Don't bother. I came with my car. Okay dear. I will see you tomorrow at work. Good night. Ha babe, you scared me. I thought you told me you were waiting outside.
I was waiting outside. Then I remembered I had a spare key. I'm sorry for keeping you waiting. Traffic was mad. Just look at the time you are coming back. That is how I would have continued waiting outside. I'm sorry. How do you want me to make it up to you? I just want you to leave other girls alone and focus on me. I guess that is not too much to ask for. Baby, I don't just know how you want me to explain to you that I don't. It's just you I have. Oh, please shut that lie you call him out. You think I don't know? Know what? That you are just coming back from that strange woman's house. What are you talking about? Look me in the eye and tell me you do not go to see that woman I caught you with in the tree. That is Belinda now. I told you I went to give her the designs. Oh, so she is the Belinda. What a boring name. Wait, how do you know I went there? Are you stalking me? I have my ways, Mr. Man. If you think you can fool me, then you lie. Why are you like this blessing? Why can't we just be happy for once? Everything that is happening to us is your fault. You are not contented with one person. You want to chase everything on skirts. I thought you came here to apologize to me for the embarrassment. I am not stupid, Pascal. I want you to know that the next time you try to fool me, I will make sure you know that I am wiser than you. Okay, I have heard you. Thank you for the information. Can we change the topic now? Suit yourself. How are you doing? Baby, what's the problem? You sounded sad on the phone. Nothing. I just want to be with you. It is still very early in the morning. Aren't you going to work today? I won't be working there anymore. I'll submit my resignation letter tomorrow. What? Why? My boss gave me the greatest shock of my life. What happened? Did you commit a crime? No. She confessed her feelings for me. Is she crazy? Didn't you tell her you have a woman already? I did. But she was still persistent. She won't offer to make my life comfortable by spending on me. How dare she? She knows the fear face. Maybe you should take me to her so I can deal with her mercilessly. There's no need for that, my love. I'll resign from there. I'll look for something else. This is all your fault. I blame you for everything. How is it my fault? How can you look so handsome and not expect your boss to hit on you? Oh, please, stop flattering me. And if we had gotten married, all these won't be happening. Baby, whatever I'm doing now is for us. Don't use me as an excuse. I want to make money for our wedding and enough to take care of our bill. There is not enough money. No matter how much you have, you will still want more. Nobody is ever satisfied with money. I know, my love. Just give me a little more time. I have money. I can support you. So this harassment can stop. No, nah. I can't use your money for our wedding. You can pay me back. No, my love. Give me a little more time. And I will slide in a ring on your finger. Hmm. Okay. Hello, good morning, peace. Hmm, it has got you to the point where you call me by my name, huh? What did you expect? Why did you send for me? Let me guess. You want to continue from where you stopped the previous day, Abby? Why are you not at work? I sent for you, but I was told you are not at work. I don't know why it's so hard for you to understand me. Understand you for what? You are definitely the type that would chase after a married man without thinking about the other woman. You're ashamed to shame you. You have no respect for yourself. At least you're not a married man. You are still in the market. Stop being harsh to me. I did nothing wrong by expressing my feelings for you. Good for you. You can keep on expressing your feelings for all I care. Why are you not at work? I'll be coming to my resignation letter tomorrow. Don't tell me you want to quit because of what I told you. I am no longer interested in working dear Miss Peace. Have a nice day. Gosh, I hate desperate women. Oh my god. Dad, not again, please. You look startled when you came in. I obviously thought a thief broke into my apartment. You are full of coming to my house unannounced. Do I have to inform you before coming to see you? Yes, sir. This is my own space. I enjoy my privacy. Well, I didn't come for you. I came to see my future in law. No, you can't see him again. You saw him last time before you went back. And why can't I see him when I want? What do you want to see him for? Didn't you discuss everything you wanted it last time? Well, I have many more things to discuss with him. It is not possible. I can help you book an early morning flight back to where you came from. 
Are you chasing me out of your house? I'm not. And you said you came to see him. But unfortunately, he won't be available. So you have to go back. I will not go back until I see him. I don't have any other child apart from you. So I need someone else to talk to. You have to come back next time. He is busy with work. When will he be free? I don't know. He'll be free the next time you come back. I can't go back today. I have to wait tomorrow. Okay, Dad. Please do well to inform me the next time you want to come. Go in and prepare something for me to eat. I'm hungry. Okay, Dad. Finally, we are done with the project. It is such a relief. Exactly. Mr. Donald will be so impressed. I can't wait for tomorrow to come. <laughs> he will definitely be happy. This wouldn't have been a success without you. I've learned a lot from you. Oh, please, stop flattering me. We both did it, not just me. You look so beautiful. It is a great deal for me to concentrate on the project. Thank you. You don't look bad either. It is painful that I won't be spending much time with you again. I wish Mr. Donald extended the date of the project to a month or probably a year so I could get to see you every day. Don't be ridiculous. If it were to be a month, we wouldn't be working at night. Probably daytime at the office. Yeah, that's true. Can I take you out for dinner tomorrow? After delivering the project? No, I don't think so. I will be busy tomorrow. How do you know? Tomorrow is not here yet and we are already concluding. I don't just want to go out. I'm in love with you, Favor. I'm very sure you know about it. No, I don't. This is my first time of hearing it. I'm sure you do. I'm not able to hide my feelings. It won't hurt if we give each other a chance. I want to go home. It's getting late. No, please, I don't want to have a bad night. I want to know if you feel the same way. Even if I feel the same way, it won't change anything. Please just tell me. I want to know, please. Yes, Michael. I have feelings for you. I have always loved you. Then give us a chance. I want to share in your sorrows and joy. I want to always be there for you. If it's marriage you want, then we can get married immediately. No, I can't. Good night. I will see you tomorrow in the office. Hello, Pascal. Belinda, what is the problem? Are you okay? No, I'm not. I just had a bad dream. I'm very scared. Oh, thank God. I thought you were robbed. Don't worry, dear. It is just a dream. Go back to bed. This one is more than robbery. I'm very scared. I can't. I'm very scared. I think some demonic spirits are in my house. You're just imagining things. Just pray and go back to bed. I'm really scared. Can you come over, please? I'm sorry I can't. It's late. Just go to bed, please. I will feel better if someone is here with me. I thought we were friends. This is the time I need you the most. What are you really scared of? The fact that you can't spend the night in my house or your fiance? Don't put me in a right situation. My fiancé will be furious and I can't spend the night in your house. Everything. I just think it is wrong to spend the night in your house. I thought I had a friend. It's okay if you can't be there for me. Um, okay, fine. I'm coming over. Whoa, whoa, just whoa. If there is any other word better than whoa, I would use it. <laughs> You like it? I love it. I'm glad I choose the both of you for this project. We are glad you like it because we put in so many efforts. I'm very impressed. I'd be more impressed if MC Enterprises approves of it and decide to invest in us. That would be the best news. I am positive they will approve it. If they do, I will give you both two days off and there will be a little celebration. Wow, so much for the project. Actually, I would have increased your allowance by 10%. But I haven't wait till the project is approved. There is no problem about that, sir. I am very happy our efforts did not go in vain. Exactly. Well done, guys. You may go back to your office. Thank you, sir.
Oh my good, babe, you scared me. The front door is open. I was wondering who broke into my house. Where are you coming from, Pascal? I went to see a friend of mine. When did you come? That friend of yours doesn't have a name, Abby. Baby, I know how this will sound to you. But please sit down, let's talk. I will not sit down. I demand an answer right now. Belinda had a bad dream yesterday. She called me very late in the night and begged me to come over that she wouldn't be able to sleep alone because of fear. What is that supposed to mean, Pascal? Do I look like a child to you? I am telling you the whole truth. I can't lie to you. Can you listen to yourself talk? Do you know how dumb you sound? Maybe I should call her on the phone so you can confirm if I'm saying the truth or not. What do you want to call her with? I thought your battery is low. I called your line and it was switched off. I am really sorry. I purposely switched it off. I knew you would call. I didn't know how you would react if I told you. So I wanted to come to your house with her for explanation. Liar! You're a bloody liar! Baby, please believe me. I am not lying to you. You just came back from a woman's house. Were you able to this night and you expect me to believe you? Would you do the same if tables were turned? I know I made a great mistake, but I swear to you, nothing happened between us. Suit yourself. Man, my brother's from another mother. It's been ages we last met. Swears, now we have more responsibilities. As in, eh? No more time to meet often. Justin, what's up now? I guess you have peace of mind now with your parents. I haven't even told them I got a job. Why now? Nah? Why are you keeping it away from them? I wanted to surprise my mom with a gift and tell her. I don't want to tell her empty-handed. What about your dad? Aren't you giving him a gift too? He's a man. He's working. He can afford whatever he wants. And so that makes him no qualified to get a gift from you? I believe this gathering is not about me. So what's up with you guys? Man, a lot has happened these past few days we haven't met. Joshua, you stopped coming to work. Why? I have been to your office several times, but it was empty. Hasn't she announced my resignation? No, she wasn't. Normal, normal, normal. If someone decides to leave, she announces it to everyone and they will make a toast, especially if the person was a hardworking one. Well, she hasn't announced it yet. Maybe you were not hardworking. Joshua, why did you resign? Have you seen something better to do? No, I haven't. I'm still searching for a job. Why then did you resign? She confessed her feelings for me. She did what? Exactly what you heard. She was a threat to my relationship, so I had to resign. Hmm. Now, wow. Good things happen to bad people. What do you mean by that? Man, bro, if I were given the chance, I would have used it wisely. God forbid. Can't do that to Stella. I can't believe peace could be so desperate to the point of begging for love. I am shocked too. I couldn't continue working there. Babe, what's the problem? You don't look happy. Is it about your father again? Maybe it's time you stand up for yourself. No, it's not about my father. I think I, I, I have done the most abominable thing ever. Why would you think that? What happened? I'm so ashamed of myself. Please talk to us. What happened? Don't worry, I'll be fine. I just feel very bad about it. I don't like this at all. Why can't you tell us what the problem is? Then don't start up the conversation. I confessed my feelings to someone and he turned me down. Hmm. Is that why you have black eyes? under your eyes which indicates you have not been sleeping well i feel so ashamed of myself why can't i just find love i don't really know what to say to you anymore you're just too emotional if you want to survive in this country care less about what people say about you i wonder oh, she will just be crying about everything the guy turned you and so haven't you turned a guy down before that is a different thing a guy has a right to express his feelings but a lady doesn't says who who made such an unfair law so we are supposed to die with feelings no matter how much you love the guy just because we are ladies don't let little things get to you so you can live long if the guy turned you down move on you will find someone better tell her if she will listen this is one reason why i don't want to talk about the love of my life because i don't want her to break down favor you're in love my love i know you despise me right now but just sit and give me a listening ear pascal you have the guts to bring this woman to my house Baby, please. I want you to hear the explanation from the horse's mouth. I am not interested in any explanation. The both of you should get out.
Melinda, please wait. Don't go, please. And what are you still doing here? Why not go and meet your sweet potato? What is wrong with you, Blessing? I have tried so hard to make this relationship work, but you keep scattering it. Wait. So your own way of trying to make the relationship work is by sleeping with everything on skirts. What do you really want me to do? Ever since we got engaged, we don't even have the time to talk about our wedding. It is always to settle one problem or the other. And whose fault is that? I am asking you whose fault is that? You get angry at every slightest opportunity you get. I still apologize even when it's not my fault. Oh really? So I'm supposed to clap for you for sleeping in another woman's house, Abby? This is really painful. Why do you derive pleasure in hurting me? Leave my house, Pascal. I don't want to see you. And make sure you don't call my line. And you are really sure that is what you want? Don't let me push you out. Live in peace. Okay. Hey, baby. What? You? Are my eyes deceiving me or what? What are you doing here? Excuse me? You both know each other? Yes, she's the woman I... He ran into my car the other day. He refused to apologize. So, we got into an argument. Baby, you wanted to say something? Um, yes. I wanted to tell you that I ran into her car and we fought because of that. Oh my god, why didn't you tell me? It was useless to me. That was why I didn't want to waste your time. On behalf of my man, I am so sorry, dear. Please forgive him. He is usually not like that. It's okay. I forgave him a long time ago. I was just surprised to see him. Baby, do you still want to go for the shopping? Why are you asking? Maybe this is the right time for it. You can come back in the evening. Don't tell me you are still angry with her over a mere car. I'm not angry with anybody. I just want to go early so you can come back early. I am sorry, Mr. Joshua, for what transpired between us. I hold no grudges against you. Then let us stay. I am famished. I want to have a taste of your food. Okay. I'll be back soon. Let me set the table. Sis, what do you think about him? Isn't he amazing? He's... He's cute, right? He's... Good morning, beautiful damsel. <laughs> Good morning, Michael. Hope you slept well. Yes, I did. And you? Yes, I did. Although I was praying for morning to come fast. Why? You couldn't sleep? I couldn't. All I thought about was your beautiful face. I wanted morning to come fast so I could see your beautiful face again. In as much as I'm flattered with your comment, but I think it is wrong to mix business with pleasure. I am not. I'm only telling you the honest truth. All right. Thanks for coming to check on me. You may go back to your office. I have so much work to do. Please don't change your attitude towards me. Like, I actually like your good side more. This is an office, Michael. If you want us to talk, we can go somewhere else. This is what I've been begging you for, but you refuse granting me the permission. Okay, fine. Now I have given you my consent. You can take me to wherever you want, apart from your house. Yes, ma. Thank you. I will pick you up from your house by 6 p.m. No need. Just text me the location and I will be there. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Please excuse me. I have work to do. Okay, ma. What are you doing in my house? I'm not here for any problem. I just want to talk. That's all. I'm giving you just a minute. When your time elapses, I want you out of my house. Thank you. Go ahead and say what you want to say. You don't have more time. Joshua, I know I messed up. I shouldn't have said what I said. And I didn't know my friend was the woman you told me about. Now you know. I will not leave her for another. I'm very happy for the both of you. Elizabeth is like a sister to me. I will never hurt her intentionally. But you already did. Apart from the fact that she's not aware yet. I swear to you. I didn't know you both were in a relationship. If not, I wouldn't have even thought about it. But the deed has already sent done. I'm taking back my words. Please erase whatever thing I said to you. I didn't mean it. I am no longer interested. I don't want it anymore. Why did you have to lie to her when she asked if we knew each other? Because what I did was shameful. I couldn't tell her at the moment. But you still have to tell her so your conscience can be cleared. If you don't tell her, I will. Please don't. Give me a little time. I will tell her myself. No problem. Your time has elapsed. You can leave now. 
and one more thing can come back to work. I already dropped my CV in other companies. I'll be called for interview soon. Everything will be about work and nothing else. Hmm. Okay. If you insist, I'll resume on Monday. Okay, Mr. Joshua. See you on Monday. Hey, Dad. I'm quite impressed with you today. Because I called you, I will be coming over. Yes, Dad. You should do that more often. I didn't tell you because you told me to. I told you so you could invite my son-in-law over. Dad, can you please allow the young man to have peace of mind? Have I done anything wrong? What is wrong with me requesting to see him again? I met him just once. Well, he is busy at the moment. Maybe next time. Don't you dare tell me those lines again. I want to see that young man. Do you think you are a child? There is no point for anger. I will inform him today. He should be here tomorrow evening. Better. I don't like shouting, but you like pushing me to do it. Sorry, Dad. Tell him to come with his father. I would like to see him too. Ah, Daddy! Do you want to force the young man on me? How am I forcing you? If he doesn't want to marry you, then why are you both together? Give him time. Don't rush it, otherwise he will spoil things for me. Hmm. Okay, you have heard him. I will take it easy. Thank you. So tell him to come alone. Okay, Dad, let me go in and get some rest. Where did you go this time around? I went to work. What are you doing in my house? So I'm not welcome into your house again. I thought you were angry. What changed your mind? I'm not as bad as you think. I have decided to let it go. Really? You have decided to let it go? As a good person that you are. Aren't you happy to see me here? I deserve an apology from you. An apology for what? For letting you sleep over in another woman's house? Or for coming to your house? Don't be ridiculous. How many times will I tell you nothing happened between me and Belinda? Then let's put it behind us. I will forgive you this time. Hmm. You really hurt my feelings. If you are waiting to hear sorry from me, then you will wait for long. It's okay. I don't need an apology anymore. What matters is that we are back together. I think it's time we take our engagement to the next level. Yes, baby. No need to delay it anymore. Should I handle it or we should look for another wedding planner? No. I don't want you to stress yourself. I want you to be beautiful for me on that day. So let's look for another wedding planner. Okay, baby. I'll look for one. Let me freshen up. I will join you soon. I'm waiting. All right. Good morning, Ma. Good morning, Joshua. Welcome back to the company. Thank you, Ma. To be sincere, I missed working here. The company misses you too. Please resume work immediately. Okay, Ma. And call me Justin on your way going to your office. Okay, Ma. Good morning, Ma. You sent for me. Yes, I did. What would you be doing this evening? Nothing. I'll be heading home after work. My father came visiting. He wants to see you. Okay, ma. So you can go home one hour before the normal closing time. Get ready. I'll come pick you up. Do I have to come with a gift? Don't worry. A gift is not necessary. Okay, ma. You can go back to your office. Thank you, ma. I swear I miss Nigeria so much. Are you sure you miss Nigeria or you miss me? You're inside Nigeria now, so I miss everything inside Nigeria. So when are you moving? My flight is scheduled for 3 p.m. tomorrow. So what time do you think you will arrive at the airport? I'll be at the airport by late at night, so I'll load in one of the hotels. You can come pick me up in the morning. No. I disagree. No matter how late it is, I will come and pick you up. I don't want you to be out there alone. Ah, brother. 
There'll be no need for that. I'm no longer the little Victoria that left five years ago. I'm a big girl now. <laughs> Are you for real? I can't wait to see you. Mom and dad talks about you all the time. Say mom and dad, I miss them too. They miss you too. And I hope you have a woman in your life because I don't want to come back and be lonely. Yes, we are engaged. I'm glad you witnessed the wedding. Wow, I can't wait. I hope she's beautiful. Oh. <laughs> she's very beautiful. Take care of yourself, baby sis. Okay then, I'll see her when I come. Speaking with you on the phone is quite expensive because of the distance. Okay, brother. Bye. Hmm. I wonder what kind of good news you have for us that you had to wake me up from my siesta. I can't remember the last time one of us had the good news. I am glad to be the first person after so many years. Oh yeah, tell us what the good news is. You both have to guess first. Have you been promoted again? Everything doesn't have to be about promotion now. Nah. So say what it is and stop wasting our time. Elizabeth, you were never patient in your life. How can you be playing around with good news now? I beg, spill it. You are eager to hear. Okay, okay. So my crush took me out on a date and proposed to me what kind of joke is that one maybe small lie you had a crush and we didn't know about it i know you both had shocked to hear it but i'm not joking he proposed to me and as i'm talking to you our wedding date has been fixed you don't mean it i am very serious everything happened so fast i didn't even have the chance to tell you guys do you even consider us as your friends you got engaged you even went as far as fixing a wedding date and you are just telling us now we live together in this house but you didn't say a word about your engagement is that fair I'm I'm sorry guys i know i have messed up i'm sorry so who is this guy you're engaged to my colleague at work the same you told me your md told you both to work on a project yes he's the one isn't it too fast no it is not how long but how well once again welcome to nigeria i missed you so much i missed you too brother sorry for making you skip work today just to come and pick me thank god you know it is your fault if i am sacked you will be the one to pay my bills who was sacking your own business <laughs> you never can tell even if i was working for someone i would still be here you are more important to me oh uh, i know right thanks brother so are you ready let's go no i just woke up i have to freshen up and eat breakfast before coming with you you don't have to eat breakfast here i cooked for you ah uh, no i paid twenty thousand naira for a night my breakfast and every other thing is there so i don't want my money to waste <laughs> this is the part i missed about you the most you're always calculative yes now money is hard to make so i have to spend wisely okay oh i will wait for you then i hope i'll be staying in your house oh. i don't want to go to that village i won't eat even let you go to the village. You will stay with me till after the wedding. Thank you, brother. Uh uh, what could Pascal be doing at Eben's hotel this early morning? This way you're talking to yourself, hope all is well. Do you know that Pascal has not still learned his lesson up till now? What has he done this time? I don't like it when you ask that question that way. It sounds as if I'm the one always creating the problem. Oh, so sorry ma. How do you want me to be asking the question? Ask as a supportive friend. Okay, what has the problematic Pascal done again? I just checked his location now and it shows me he's in a hotel this morning. Hotel? How come? I thought you checked last night night and it shows he was at home maybe he went there late at night huh. now wow this guy on is just too much now i will make sure to deal with him this time around what does he really take me for he truly he is in a hotel i won't support him this time i will go to his house and wait for him there just take it easy my friend make sure you listen to his explanations first before you do anything what kind of explanation does he have to be with a woman in a hotel huh. now wow just when i the wedding preparations will be completed and this happens i know the first thing he would tell me is that he went to meet a client this time around i would deal with him and then deal with that his client please no matter what happens listen to his own side of the story first okay let me go and get dressed he will see the bad side of me today 
Where is Pascal? Ah, madam, not even a good morning. Anyway, Pascal has gone to work. Who are you and what are you doing here? Excuse me? What right do you have to come here and ask me questions? Are you crazy? Do you know who you're talking to? No matter who you are, you have no right to badge into someone's house and start acting this way. I don't want to have any problems with you. I will deal with that cheat when he comes back. Quietly carry whatever you came with and leave this house. <laughs> Chai, I don't suffer. Just imagine the audacity. I will not repeat myself again. Get out of this house now. The only reason why I am still standing here talking to you is because you came here to look for Pascal. If not, I would have dealt with you this morning. You sluts. You still have mouths to talk. How dare you? You slapped me. And I will slap you again and again. I won't slap you back, but I'll wait for Pascal to come back. Hey, Weiwei. Welcome, my love. I thought you won't come again. Why won't I? Do you know how much I missed you? I missed you too. Any updates? Update about what? Our wedding now. Oh, sorry. It slipped my mind. Yes, there is. Okay, what's up? I contacted a wedding planner. We have agreed to meet during the weekend. Wow, that's great. You are getting there gradually. Yes, we are. Very soon, I will be called Mrs. Favor Michael. <laughs> <laughs> yes for sure but um you have to give me some money in case the wedding planner demands for a part payment hmm, that is the problem my love i don't have any money on me but we were all paid two days ago what did you do with your salary you know my salary is not even up to quarter of what i needed don't worry just give me whatever you have i will support the rest i don't have a dime with me my grandmother was critically ill so i used the money to pay her hospital bills hmm. so what are we going to do now I can't possibly use my money to marry myself. I can only support you. I know, but there is nothing we can do. The wedding date has already been fixed. I didn't expect this. I'm sorry. Please, just bear with me. I promise to pay back everything when we get married. Are you sure about that? I'm very sure. I will pay back every dime I owe you. Hmm, okay. Good evening, Pascal. Good evening, Anna. Please, I am not in the mood for any pleasantries right now. It is about blessing again, huh? Where is she? Please inform her I am here. Okay. Blessing, how dare you? How dare you come to my house and harass my visitor? You this shit. If you are not ashamed of yourself, I am ashamed of you. Did you just slap me? Get your stinking self out of my house. You had God to come to my house and harass my sister. And you slapped me in addition to that. Wait, did, did, did you just say your sister? Yeah, she's my sister. She came back yesterday. I picked her up from the hotel this morning. Hey, hey. I didn't know now. You didn't tell me your sister would be coming over. I purposely didn't tell you. I wanted to see if you would be wise enough to wait till I come back before you take any action. <laughs> I'm sorry. She insulted me and I couldn't take it anymore. I guess this is the same thing you would say if it was my mom in place of my sister. <laughs> no, my love. Please don't say that. I am truly sorry. This is the height of it. I would tolerate anything from me, but harassing my sister and laying your hand on me is one thing I would never tolerate. You have done your worst, and I can no longer continue in this relationship. Hey, what have I done to myself? Shebi, I warned you. I told you to always take things easy, but you wouldn't listen. What do I do now? I don't want to lose Pascal. The only thing now is for you to find a way and meet his sister. Apologize to her and convince her to talk to her brother on your behalf. <laughs> yes, that is what I would do. Thank you for this wonderful advice. So now that we are here, can you tell me the purpose of this meeting? Not so fast. We just got here. At least, let's order something. I'm not ordering anything until you tell me why we are here. Mmm, I really don't know how to say it or how you want it. You don't want to work for me anymore? No, far from that. It's something different. Then what is it? I like you. Okay, I'm human, so it's okay if you like me. No, not that kind of like. I'm in love with you. Where is this coming from? Did Josh tell you anything? Joshua, no. I haven't spoken to that guy in a while. So why the sudden likeness? We have worked together for a while now, and you haven't said anything like this before. I guess this is the same way you'd have reacted if I had said it earlier. I'm just curious to know why you have feelings for me. 
I've observed you for a while now. I like you and I want to be with you. I can't really say anything right now. You have taken me off guard. Come on, please. We could make this work. We might even get married in the nearest future. And we wouldn't have to lie to your father about it. Hmm. Give me some time to think about it. I'll get back to you. Baby, where did you go to early this morning? You came visiting. Yes, I did. I came to see a friend of mine that gave birth yesterday night in your neighborhood. So I decided to come say hi to you. Why didn't you call me now? I did, but your line was not reachable. Oh, sorry. Maybe that was when we were in a meeting. We had to switch off our phones. Meeting? What meeting are you talking about? Didn't I tell you? I got my job back. What kind of question is that? So you can't remember if you called me or not? Sorry, dear. Let me slip my mind. How can such a thing skip your mind? We talk every day on the phone, Joshua. Sorry, now. Nah. I didn't know how to tell you. I thought you told me your boss was hitting on you. That was why you resigned. Yes, that was what happened. But she's a changed person now. And she pays very well. I am not happy about this. We are not supposed to keep secrets from each other. I am sorry. I don't know how to say it to you. Please, just be careful. If she tries such nonsense with you again, tell me and I will deal with her. <laughs> yes, ma. I will definitely do that. Have you had something to eat? Not yet. I was planning to order some food. No need for that. Go get dressed. Let me spoil you a little. I love it whenever you say this to me. I know. You don't want to spend money. <laughs> Not really. I just like it when you decide to spend on me too. Oh yeah, go and change now. Let's go. Okay, baby. Haha, <laughs> just then. Are you still in the house by this time? Good morning, mom. Is there anything wrong with me staying at home? Why don't you go to work today? Today is Wednesday and you were supposed to be at work. Well, I won't be going to work today. Why were you sacked? What's that expression for? Are you scared of me being sacked? Of course I'm being jobless. It's not something someone should be proud of. Mom, we don't have to panic. My boss gave me a day off today. Oh, better. That means you will be home the whole day. Yes, mom. Okay, um, can you help me carry my goods to the market? Oh my god, not again. I just want to have some rest, please. I know. Sorry to disturb you. You will come back early. How do you usually take your goods to the market whenever I go to work? Your father takes them with his car, but today he left in a hurry. That's why I couldn't meet up with him. So if I have gone to work, how would you have done it? Are we in an interview room or what? No now. I'm just curious to know. Because I don't understand how today of all days, dad suddenly left in a hurry and did not carry your goods. Now I have to carry them. If you were not here, I would have taken a day that was my intentional plan. Then take a day off. You have been working too hard. No, I can't rest. I have to support your father in financing our home. When I have money, I will make sure you do a better business. Amen. But for now, let me continue with the available one. Mm, no problem. Just go. Let me brush my teeth. I will take them to the market. Oh, thank you, my son. God bless you. How is my beautiful angel doing? Oh, please don't flatter me. I'm not. I just miss seeing your face. This is the fourth time you are coming to see my face. Maybe because I don't get enough of seeing your face. Oh, isn't that nice? I'm not complaining, Sha. Why don't we go somewhere today after work? We have gone out too much these days. Maybe you should take me to where you stay. That is the problem. I don't have a house. Hmm. Don't be ridiculous. I'm serious. So where do you sleep? I'm still staying with my parents. I don't have a house yet. Oh, that's bad. You're a grown man that should be staying alone there is nothing i can do about it my salary is not enough for me to rent any apartment oh come on how can you be talking about your salary when i'm here sorry if you need anything just tell me i will do it for you your salary is nothing what if i tell you to buy me an apartment of course i will gladly do that are you joking with me i'm not joking dear just check or any house of your choice and tell me the price oh my god thank you very much my love you're a lifesaver you don't have to thank me you know i'll do anything for you so where should i take you to today at least to appreciate your good news to was me anywhere of your choice thank you so much
Don't worry, just give her a little time. She will be here. I don't like this at all. Why is she keeping us waiting? It's okay, my love. I believe something else is keeping her. If I stay here five more minutes and she's not here, I'll leave. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, sir. Blessing, what took you so long now? My fiance was about going safe. I am really sorry. My other client refused letting me go early. So we had to wait for you because of the other clients? I am sorry, sir. It won't repeat itself. Let's get started. Everything is almost set, as your wedding date is almost here. What and what is set? A very good caterer is ready. I got your wedding dress from the latest fashion store. Wow. I can't wait to see what it looks like. What about my suit? Didn't you buy I wasn't told to buy your suits, and the money wasn't enough either. Fever, why? I'm sorry, dear. You'll have to use your money and get it. I have nothing on me again. How could you? And you didn't even tell me. Sorry about that, dear. It is not too late to order one. I'm not happy about this. Go ahead, blessing. Everything is ready, ma. There is no need mentioning them. I promise you that your wedding will be won in town, just the way you want it. Anyway, the main reason I called you here is to introduce you to my fiance. Congratulations, sir. I will make your wedding a minute. Thank you. I said it. I saw your car outside and I immediately knew it was you. Girl, what are you doing here? Wow, what a beautiful damsel. Who is she? Let me introduce you to my fiance first. Me the love of my life, Favor. Nice meeting you, Favor. I'm Justin. This dude has said so many things about you. Wow, that's nice to hear. It's nice to meet you too, Justin. Please, ma. I have to take my leave now. I have other things to attend to. Okay, dear. Have a nice day. Thank you. Bro, what's up? Don't you knock before barging into someone's house? You look angry. Who vex you? No be that girl we call herself my fiance. What did she do? You both really fight. She just left and I'm so angry right now. What has she done wrong? Can you imagine I told this girl to prepare something for me to eat before going back? She refused. What did she say is her problem? She said it is against her belief to cook for a man that she is not married to. <laughs> what kind of mentality is that? She is definitely from the 1960s. I wonder who. Even my grandmother would never think like that way or maybe she doesn't know how to cook this is even the right time for her to open up and tell me the truth instead of hiding it well i didn't come here to talk about her i know what brought you to my house i came to ask about the guy i met at the issue with you and your fiance chai bad guy the moment i saw you walking i knew you would be interested in her that girl is fire she's damn beautiful yes she's beautiful i wish i was still single i would have given her a thought thank god you are not do you have a phone number no i don't that was my first time to see her can you please get the number from your fiance for me please it is not possible now we don't touch each other's phone guy please now just look for a way i really need her phone number hmm, okay i'll see what i can do all right thanks bro so you said you have something to tell me i hope there is no problem there is no problem sir everything is under control okay so i am all ears go ahead with what you want to tell me michael over to you you are the man mm, sir miss Ivo and i had decided to take our relationship to the next level you both were in a relationship yes sir but not for a long time oh that is wonderful i like responsible young men like you Thank you, sir. You know, when I first met my wife, I didn't court her for long. I married her weeks after we met. Wow. I don't see any need for long courtship. It can only lead to unintentional sins. I like your courage, Michael. I am proud of you. Thank you, sir. So has the date been fixed? Yes, sir. It is in two weeks' time, sir. Oh, that is really fast. Congratulations once again. Thank you, sir. You and the entire company are invited. Okay, I will inform everyone today. I hope you don't expect everyone to be there. No, not at all. We will take our leave now. But there is a problem. What is it, sir? After the wedding, one person has to resign. What? Why? That is the company's policy. Couples are not allowed here. One person has to step down for the other. Oh my God, this can't be true. I am really sorry. There is nothing I can do about that. One of you will step down. Congratulations once again. Good evening, Dad. Good evening, Mom. Good evening, my son. Justin, how are you? You came back early today. Yes, Mom. I rushed home to meet Dad before he goes to church. Are you okay? I hope there's no problem. Yes, Dad. I am fine. I want to inform the both of you that I'll be packing out this evening or tomorrow morning. Where are you packing out to? 
I bought a house of my own. So I want to pack out and start my life as a man. You bought a house and you're just telling me today? I'm sorry, Dad, but I paid for the house this morning. It's not like I paid for it last year. If you paid it for this morning, then why are you rushing? Give it a little time. No, Mom, there's no point delaying. I have to go out there and face life. I'm not getting any younger. You are only son. It won't be easy to stir in this big house, just me and your dad. Mom, sooner or later, I'll still leave. So there's no big deal about that. You don't get your point. Stay with us for a while. You don't have to leave like this. I will miss you so much. Mom, I'm not relocating out of the city. I'll still be around. You can come anytime you want. Honey, I support him. It's time for him to become a man and stop hiding behind us. Thanks, Dad. In as much as I will miss this house, I have no choice but to move out. This isn't fair at all. How can you just wake up one morning and tell me you are moving out, then you expect me to be happy? Mom, please, don't make this hard for me. You're my mother, and you're always welcomed in my house. Honey, allow him to move out. Do you expect him to raise his wife and children in this house? And what is wrong with that? We can be one big family. I understand how you feel. I will miss you too, but I will try as much as possible to always visit. You promised. Yes, Mom, I promise. Son. Why not stay tonight, then pack out tomorrow morning? Yes, please. Alright then, tomorrow it is. Oh my love, I'm so sorry for keeping you waiting. It's okay, honey. I wasn't really bored. There are some drinks in the fridge. Hope you helped yourself. No, I didn't. I don't take a call. Oh, okay. You said you wanted to have a discussion with me. Yes, it's about what Mr. Donald told us. Hmm. I actually wanted to discuss that with you too. Wow, I guess you have made a decision too. Yes, I have. Well, let me hear yours first. No, you go first. I insist you go first. You called me for this. Okay. Um, I have made up my mind to resign for you to continue working. Oh my god, my love. You don't have to. I'll resign for you instead. Are you sure? If that is what you want. No, I mean yes. But you can resign if you insist. <laughs> I have already made up my mind to resign for you. You are a man, so you should be the one to work while I take care of the house. Thank you so much, sweetheart. Marrying you is one of the best things ever. I know, right? I love you so much. I love you too. Please, can you get me a glass of water in the kitchen? Okay, honey. Please give me your phone. Let me play some games. I don't think I have games here, but just check, Sha. You might be lucky. I just hope I did not take a wrong number. Wow, this is a nice house. I really like it. Is it worth the amount? I'm being sincere. <laughs> what do you want to hear? I want to hear your own opinion. You know, I can't tell you it's not worth it. But it's nice, Abby. Hey, come on. Does my opinion really matter? Yes, it does. You gave me money to buy this house. No, don't ever think that way. This is your house now, not mine. Thank you so much. I don't know what I would have done without you. But babe, now that you have your own house, don't you think it's time for us to settle down? No, nah. It is still early for that. But when you asked me out, you said we would get married. I didn't say it would be immediately. I can't just wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Are you sure it's because of that or there is another reason? Of course not. I want to be with you because I love you. Hmm, okay. Just give me a little more time. Okay, baby. I'll be patient because of you. Thank you. So what would you like me to cook for you? Don't worry. I want to visit my parents now. I will call you when I get back. But I can wait for you here till you come back. No, my love. It's not proper. Just go. I will call you. Okay, dear. Please don't forget to call. I won't. I love you. Okay. Bye-bye. Hey, baby. Traffic did they do again today? No, dear. I went with my friend to see her wedding planner. Which of your friend? Peace or favor? Favor, of course. Didn't I mention it to you? No, you didn't. Wow, she's getting married. That's a good news. Congratulations to her. Do you know what baffles me the most? What's that? The fact that you can open your mouth and say congratulations to people's upcoming wedding. <laughs> I knew you were going to talk about it. Seriously, it is no longer funny. Although I am not begging you to marry me because I know I am beautiful and I can as well get any man of my choice. 
I know you're just saying that to get me jealous. Favor met this man at her workplace a few weeks ago. And today they are already planning their wedding. But look at me. I have been with you for... Wow, what a coincidence. My friend is also planning his wedding. He met his fiance at his workplace too. He said her name is Favor. What is your friend's name? Michael. Michael? Michael is the name of Favor's fiance. Hmm, what a coincidence. Anyway, let's leave people's affairs with them. Let's focus on our own. What is there for us to focus? Now I believe the saying that is not how long but how well. That is a popular saying now. Everyone knows about it. I beg, what did you cook? Let me eat first before I have strength to talk. You better go to your house and eat. No food for you here. Yeah. I know there is nothing for me here. Talk more of a little space. You eh? You can read meaning to every sentence I make. Is it just you or women that are like that? I beg. Joshua, what's up now? Why haven't you been picking your calls? The guy is just for me hard guy with me. What would have happened if you were a lady? I was not for me hard guy for anybody. I obviously didn't like what you did the last time we met. What did we do? Is he a crime for Justin to like someone? He didn't just like her. His intentions were to use her. And so, what if I use her? Is she your grandmother? I don't really don't know why you act like a child sometimes. No matter how close we are, I will never support this. Peace is nice and she doesn't deserve that. Well, for your information, Mr. Man, Peace and I are already together. So deal with it. Are you jealous? I guess you wish you asked her out first. <laughs> are you kidding me? If I was interested in her, I would have accepted her proposal long ago. So what is the point of arguing this? I do whatever I want. I owe no one an explanation. Okay then. Suit yourself. Don't say I didn't tell you. So that was why you refused picking our cause. <laughs> you will never cease to amaze me. The guy is a true fighter. He wants justice for peace. He sounds like what he wants. You both can say whatever you want. I don't care. But you both work in the same company. Yes, we do. But his work department is quite far from mine. Sometimes we don't get to see ourselves for a whole week. Isn't the CEO secretary supposed to be with the CEO? Well, ours is like that. He goes to his section and only meets the CEO when she calls his office line. Wow, impressive. Everyone gets to work seriously. I guess you both did not invite me here to talk about me. Let's stop whatever issue it is you think we have. Peace is not our sister and doesn't deserve to be the reason for our misunderstanding. How is your wedding preparation going? Very smoothly. The wedding is almost here. Okay. So you're engaged with Favor, my fiancé's best friend? Really? That's wonderful. I don't know any of her friends, Sha. I can't wait for this wedding to be over so I can call the love of my life. Man, this is all like a dream to me. <laughs> How do you mean? Who would have thought that you, the youngest of us, would get married first? Abby, even me if I shock. Anyway, it's still good that one of us left the singles club. At least there is still hope for us. There is hope for me, because I know that Joshua will definitely marry me. So, you both underestimated me, huh? I don't think that's the right word to use. We didn't underestimate you. We were just surprised about the fact that you are the youngest and you'll be married first before us. I see. In two days' time, you'll be addressed as Mrs. As in uh, everything, including the days, run so fast. I am so excited. I hope you know that even if you are married, we'll still be sisters. And you can always come to us, especially when you need help. Sure. You both are the best friends anyone could ever wish to have. So a day after tomorrow, you will move out and I will be all alone in this house. Madam, then to stay alone, Jare. Peace, maybe I will pack into your house. Pack into me. I beg, stay where you are. I like my space. I don't want anyone to scatter my house for me. As in, she can scatter for Africa. Thank God I will be leaving the house for her. So no one wants to accept me, Abby? Day your day, I beg. Peace, you rarely come around these days. Tell me the truth. What has been keeping you away from us? <laughs> Work now, what else? Are you sure? Because you were, you were just glowing anyhow, and you don't want to tell us what the secret is. Okay, oh. I'm so tired. I'm glad today finally came to an end. You are glad? I thought you wanted it to last longer. 
My heart says yes, but my body says no. I am just tired. The most important thing is that we are finally married. Yes, baby. I'm happy and sad at the same time. It's okay. You can find another job. I won't stop you. No, I'm just voicing out my displeasure. It's not like I wanted to resign. Then stop complaining. I'll open a business for you. At least something to keep you company. You will? You don't want it? Of course I do. I just wanted to be sure if you're serious. Well, think of the kind of business you'd like to do then get back to me. Okay, baby. Thank you very much. Hey, sister-in-law. How may I help you? I can hear anger in that voice. Don't tell me you're still angry. Please, with all due respect, how may I help you? Sis, I know how you feel. I messed up big time. But you're a woman like me. You should understand my intentions for doing that. That does not still answer my question. And this will be the last time I will ask. How may I help you? Please, it's Pascal home. I would like to see him. Let me inform him you're here. Thank you, my dearest sister-in-law. If your intention is to sound funny, then you don't. You sound off. Just go and call your brother for me. Whatever. Bless you. What are you doing in my house? Good morning, my love. Are you surprised to see me? Get your proud self out of my house this minute. Babe, calm down. It hasn't gotten to this. The reason why I didn't come earlier was because I had an urgent work at hand. So I needed to concentrate and finish the work first before coming to see you. Can you imagine? Who asks you for your explanation? I don't need your explanation, you young lady. You have engaged me for a while now, and we haven't even planned our wedding. For your information, I am no longer interested in whatever wedding you are talking about. I don't want you in my life anymore. <laughs> I understand that you're just angry, but don't say things you regret later. Oh, really? You and I know that you can't live without me, so it's better to put this thing behind us and move ahead. Don't let me push you out of this house. Your presence annoys me. I will go, but just know that I love you, and the door is open for whenever you want to come. <laughs> Can you imagine her audacity? Welcome, Mom. Welcome, Dad. I'm happy to have you both here. This is very nice. Sure, you have a good taste. He's following the footsteps of his father. <laughs> exactly. The right copy of you. Don't you think it's uh, too big for you to stay alone? Mom, please don't even go there. I know what you are trying to say. I'm not ready now. Honey, allow this boy to have some breathing space. I'm not struggling him now. It's just an observation. Let me get something for the both of you to drink. Good evening, ma. Good evening, sir. Good evening, my dear. Good evening. Who are you, please? My name is Peace, and I'm here to see Justin. Oh, okay. He went to get some drinks for us. He will soon be here. Thank you, ma. I guess you're his mother. Yes, and he's the owner of his big house. I can see that. Peace, what are you doing here? He didn't tell me your parents would be coming over. I would have come early to prepare something for them to eat. How many times have I told you not to come to my house uninvited? Justin, aren't you going to introduce her to us? I wonder... Dad, Mom, meet Peace. She's my colleague at work. Really? I'm now your colleague at work. Young lady, if you're not his colleague, then what are you to him? It was nice meeting you, Ma and Sir. Do have a safe journey on your way back. My son, you know you don't have to lie to us about her position in your life. No, Dad, seriously. She's my colleague and nothing else. Are you sure? I hope you're not deceiving somebody's daughter. No, Mom, I'm not. When I find a woman I want to settle down with, you will be the first to know. Okay. I'm sorry. There's nothing in my fridge. I'll quickly get you something down the road. Okay. We are waiting. Okay, Mom. Welcome, honey. How was work today? 
It was great. I had a very busy day. Oh, so sorry, dear. I already knew you would come back by this time. So your food is on the table. Thank you. I'm not really hungry. I ate at the office. Please, just have a taste of it. I made that specially for you. Okay, let me freshen up. I'll be with you soon. Okay, baby. I'll wait here for you. Fever, what and what have you done in this house since morning? I have done everything. Is anything the matter? Everything is the matter. Why didn't you wash the dirty dishes? I washed everything in the kitchen and the dirty plate you see there is the one I ate this afternoon. And why is it still there? What is your job in this house? Why do you have this habit of going around the house if everything is clean whenever you come back from work? Because it is my house and I have to make sure everywhere is clean. Even when everywhere is sparkling clean, you will find something to complain about. Shut up, I don't talk while I'm talking. What is wrong with you, Michael? We were happy a few minutes ago, and now we just want to create unnecessary argument. I'm the head of this house. You should put your head down whenever I talk to you. That is how a good wife should behave. I am really not in the mood for this today. Fib, are you walking out on me? We shall see. My love, you just live like that without looking back. Baby, don't tell me you are angry because of what I said. Baby, talk to me, please. You know I don't like this silent treatment of a thing. Justin, I want to ask you a very simple question and be honest with me. Okay. What am I to you? Let's not do this, please. I promise to introduce you to them as soon as possible. Answer my question, Justin. We're in a relationship, hoping to get married soon. So why do you tell your parents that I'm your colleague at work? Are you ashamed of me? Of course not. I'm very proud of you. Then why did you deny me in the presence of your parents? I felt this is not the right time to tell them about our relationship. And why not? Are you a child? Aren't you old enough to have a family of your own? You obviously don't understand my intentions. Then make me understand. Explain it in clear terms. What would I have introduced you as? My girlfriend? No, that's disrespectful. I want to introduce you as my fiance. Then propose to me. We promise to give ourselves some time. I want to take you to them when I'm ready to settle down with you. You hurt me. I'm sorry. That is the reason why I came here to apologize. It's okay. I'm okay now. Where would you like me to take you to? To make up for what I did. Don't worry. I am no longer angry with you. I love you, my cupcake. I love you too. Why hasn't Pascal called me till now? Has he gotten over me? It's getting too long already. How is it possible that he can stay for so long without hearing from me? He once told me he can't live without me. So how is it possible that he can live till now? He confessed his undying love to me, but he is no longer showing it. I miss him so much, but I can't be seen as a weakling. He might take me for granted and always expect me to apologize first. Hmm. What do I do now? Should I continue waiting for him to apologize to me? Or I should go meet him for the second time? This is the time Anna is useful. But of recent, Anna hasn't been supportful. It is always all about Pascal. Maybe she's sleeping with him. No, Anna would never do that. I have to visit Pascal tomorrow. I'm off to work. Make sure everywhere is sparkling clean before I get back home. I don't want to see any dust in the floor. No dirty dishes, no matter when you used it. Have a great day today at work. And my regards to Mr. Donald. Maybe you should go greet him yourself. I hope you have heard everything I said. Clean the house thoroughly. I have heard you, but you haven't given me the money I asked for to purchase foodstuffs in the market. I don't have money. I haven't been paid yet. Babe, I am not asking for a huge amount. Just a little token to cook. I said there is no money. You think I've forgotten what you did yesterday. You had the ghost to work out on me and you are now demanding for money. I'm sorry for working out on you. I was angry, so I wanted to get away from the argument. The power of money. Just look at you, you are humble just because you need money. You were getting late for work. Why not give me what I want so you can go to work early? And you think you are the one keeping me here? Why this sudden attitude, Michael? You weren't like this before. What's changed? Are we going to talk about me now? I thought we were talking about money. Please just give me any amount. I will manage it. I will not give you a dime. That is your punishment for working out on me. There is nothing to eat in this house. How will I survive from now till you get back from work in the evening? Ask your ancestors. I'm off to work. Yeah. <laughs> 
you this woman again? Baby, I know how you feel. Please give me a listening ear. I don't want to listen to anything from you. Get out of my house. Pascal, don't tell me you were serious when you said you can't be with me. When I said it, did you see a smile on my face? Why are you taking things far? This is something we can settle amicably. Oh, really? I am taking things far. You came to my house and harassed my sister. And you stand here and tell me I am taking things far. Baby, I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. You caused everything. Don't you just shift the blames on me. What did I do that made you so insecure? <sighs> I'm sorry, Pascal. It wasn't my fault. I was angry when I realized you were in the hotel that morning. So I had to come here and check if you brought a woman home. But true to my words, there was indeed a woman. You realized I was in a hotel that morning. How come? Because I only told you in the evening. I... I... Don't waste my time blessing. I don't know you to be a stammerer. How did you know I was in a hotel even before I told you? I have been tracking your phone for a while now. Shows me your every move wherever you go. You did what? I'm so sorry. I didn't want to pass through the same thing I happened in my last relationship. I just wanted to make sure you were not cheating on me. How could you? I trusted you so much. I never doubted any of your movements. What is love without trust? They are two different things, Pascal. I love you, but I don't think I can ever trust anyone in this life. Then it is better you stay on your own. What I require the most is a peaceful home. And I'm not sure you will be able to give me that. The only thing you always give me willingly is headache. I can't do this anymore. Give me another chance, please. Maybe I would have considered giving you another chance. But if you could go to the extreme of tracking my phone, beating up a visitor in my house without having a knowledge of who the person is, that means you can as well stab me in my sleep the day I decide to hug my sister or a female colleague in your presence. No, I would never do that. Give me another chance, please. I can't bear to lose you. You have lost me already. I loved you. I never cheated on you. I was committed to our relationship, hoping you would change and we would get married. But instead, you decided to punish me because of the wind of another man. <laughs> no, Pascal. I haven't lost you. You claimed your ex broke your heart. Do I look like your ex? Do I sound like him? Do we bear the same name? No. But you decided to act that way just because he broke your heart. Pascal, please. We have gone a long way. Think about our good memories. We can sort things out. There is nothing to sort out. Get up and leave my house. I don't want to come back and see you here. <gasps> what have I done to myself? Welcome, honey. Since the day you started greeting me, what impact has it added to my life? Why is there no food in the kitchen? Because there is no money to cook. I haven't eaten since morning. So wait, to let me understand something. If I don't give you money to cook, you cannot support me with your money. You know I don't have anything on me. I borrowed you all my money. I knew it. I knew that one day you remind me that you gave me money. I am not reminding you. I am giving you the reason why I don't have money. Okay then. That means you stop for a long time. What are you doing this, Michael? What did I ever do to you? If I had known you weren't going to be submissive to me, I wouldn't have married you. What is your own definition of being submissive? Do you want me to lick your toes every day? If that is how you want to show it to me, then go ahead. You talk back at me a lot. You don't bend when I want you to. You are too intelligent for my liking. I need a submissive woman and not an independent woman that claims to know it all. Oh, wow. So this is where all this is coming from, huh? You haven't even started starving. I won't give you a dime in this house. Unless you swallow your pride and kneel and then apologize to me. I will never kneel for you, Michael. I have done nothing wrong. Okay then. Let's see how it goes. We'll see who will cry at last. Yeah. 
<laughs> what is Michael doing this to me? What did I do to him? <laughs> Where did I go wrong? They can't be forgiven. It is barely one year into marriage. And I am already experiencing all these things. What will happen when I bear him children? I haven't had anything to eat since morning. I feel so weak. <laughs> this is getting tougher each day that passes by. For how long will I continue like this? This is pure wickedness. I wish I had seen all these signs before marrying him. I would have never given him a chance. Either to leave or stay. I think I should involve Pisa and Elizabeth. Maybe they could give me some money to feed. Ah, no, I can't. I can't do that. I will definitely be a laughing stock to them. I have to carry my cross alone. Man, babe, it's been ages. You know they find me now. You and Pisa are big girls now. For where? I beg, leave that thing, Jerry. We are still as we used to be. <laughs> I can see that. So, how have you girls been? We are fine, oh. How about you? How is married life? Everything is fine, dear. God has been wonderful to me. But you don't look fine to me. You have dark circles under your eyes as if you've not been sleeping well. Dark circles? Ah, no. <laughs> I don't have it now. I sleep very well. Are you sure? You look so thin. Are you sure everything is okay? Everything is fine, dear. Michael has been a perfect husband to me. Hmm. Okay, oh. That is what I wanted to hear. Because if he tries anything stupid with you, I will not hesitate to deal with him. <laughs> I know you now. Elizabeth the Undertaker. <laughs> Before uncle. Um, is this not Elizabeth, the chief bridesmaid? Good evening, Michael. It's so good to see you. It's so good to see you. Where have you been? Actually, I traveled to see my parents. I just came back this morning. I decided to check on my friend. Wow, that is so nice of you. Welcome, Michael. Thank you, my love. How was your date with you without me? It was fine. Mine was not fine. I missed you so much. I had to rush home by this time just to be with you. Oh, that is so romantic. I tap from your grace, so. Is it always hard to stay without her? That is why I come home early to be with her. You are a good man. God bless you for taking good care of my friend. Amen. Baby, have you had something to eat? Not really, but I will. Don't worry about cooking today. I want to take you out and spoil you. I will see you next time. No, don't go, please. I want to stay with you for a while. Don't worry. So are we going out to eat like you said? Eat what? Do you know how to make money? Jesus Christ, you scared me. Welcome, dear. Were you expecting someone else? Not really. I'm just surprised to see you here. Well, that was why I came here, to surprise you. I thought you told me you were leaving the office to attend a meeting. What are you doing here? I was lying. I just wanted to surprise you. Wait, how were you able to get into my house? Because I locked it. I have a spare key. You what? How did you get it? I took one of the keys from your bunch of keys the last time I came. How could you do that without my permission? I thought you'd be cool with it. This is stealing. You should have told me about it. So why are you this angry? Maybe we want to ask you for a spare key. Yes, now. I am the rightful person to give it to you, and not you taking it yourself. It's okay. I'm sorry about that. I won't take care of your things next time without your permission. You have to return the key. Why? I can't return it. In case I come and run around, I can easily go in. Why would you come to my house without calling me? Are you seeing someone else, Justin? I am not comfortable about any person holding a key to my house. I like privacy. I like my space. Of course. If you are not hiding anything, then I can't return the key. What is the meaning of this piece? Is it because you have money to buy this house? I knew this should happen someday. Okay, fine. I'm sorry for taking the key in the first place. I will return it. I will pack to my father's house to avoid all these insults. I am waiting. Wow, what a beautiful damsel. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Angel. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Can I help you? You look so beautiful. Please, what is your name? 
I'm sorry, I don't talk to strangers. I see. But if we get to know each other, we'll definitely leave the strangers on. My name is Blender. And you? I'm Michael. Where are you heading to? I want to see you a friend of mine down the road. Oh, I wish I was with my car. But I'll take you to wherever you want to go today. You have a car? Yes, I do. A brand new car. I just decided to take a walk. That is why I left it in the house. Oh, wow. That's nice. Can I see you tomorrow? Of course you can. Tomorrow is public holiday anyway. Yes. I won't be going to work too. Okay then, that is settled. Please give me your account number and your phone number. Okay. Wow, you're such a gentleman. Thank you very much. I will definitely see you tomorrow. Text me your house address later. I will come pick you up with my car tomorrow by 5 o'clock. Thank you very much. I have to go now. Okay, baby. Be careful, okay? Okay. Hello, good evening. Good evening, sweetheart. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Please, who am I speaking with? My name is Justin. You are the wedding planner for my friend's wedding. Okay, Justin. How may I help you? Can I see you this evening, please? I want to have a little conversation with you. No, you can't. I only meet with people when it has to do with business. Of course, we are planning for business. My wedding is coming up very soon. I want you to be the wedding planner. Oh, okay then. But I think it will be better to meet with your fiance instead. It will be easier with her. Of course, we are coming together. So what time and place? I will text you the address. Okay, sir, no problem. Please, don't be late. I won't. Thank you. I'm so happy to see you once again, my queen. Thank you for bringing me here. I've never been here before. I haven't even started yet. When I'm done spoiling you, you know what it means to be with a rich guy like me. I know. You're just like a godsend to me. So tell me about yourself. There is nothing about me. I'm just there. Ha, <laughs> okay. Are you married? Of course not. Why? You haven't seen a man yet? Not at all. I'm not yet ready. I want to enjoy life first. I see. I guess you don't have a child out of wedlock. No, I don't. What about you? Are you married? I don't want to lie to you. Yes, I'm married. Oh, I see. But that cannot stop what I feel for you. What about your wife? What if she finds out? Forget about my wife. She cannot do anything. I'm here, heaven and earth. So any child yet? No, not yet. I'm not ready for a child anytime soon. See, I don't want to leave or have problem with your wife. Oh. Baby, leave my wife out of this picture. She will not find out. And even if she does, there's nothing she can do about that. I'm a very expensive lady. I hope you will be able to take care of me. Baby, just leave all your problems to me. I can handle them all. Even if you want to go on a vacation outside the country, I will sponsor you. Oh, I love the sound of that. Don't worry, you will enjoy yourself with me. I know, right? Baby, are you okay? You sounded bitter on the phone. I'm not okay. Sit down, let's talk. What is the problem? We can go to the hospital. Elizabeth, I'm fine. You just called me by my name. Is that not the parents your parents gave to you? Why did you call me here? You said it's really urgent. Yes, it is. I want to thank you for all the things you have done for me. For standing by me and always supporting me. Are you kidding me? You called to tell me you want to discuss something very important with me. Relax, I'm not done yet. Because it doesn't make sense for you to start thanking me unnecessarily. I want to let you know that I appreciate your efforts to make you a better person. But I won't be able to marry you. What did you just say? Yes, Elizabeth, I can't marry you. You're not my type of woman. You don't have what I want. Are you the one saying this to me? I know how you feel. It took me a great deal to tell you the truth. I always wanted to tell you, but I couldn't. Because I didn't know how you take it. What changed your mind, Joshua? This was not what you told me when we first met. I loved you back then, but not anymore. I am really surprised to hear all this. After all my commitment to this relationship, hoping that one day it will lead us somewhere. I'm really sorry. I don't want to keep you wasting your time anymore. In case you find someone that's interested in you. 
All right then. I appreciate the fact that you opened up to tell me how you really feel. If you can't continue this relationship anymore, then there is no problem. Really? That shows that you are a nice person. In as much as I still love you, I can't force you to stay. Are you sure you also want this? It was nice knowing you, Joshua. There is nothing else I am doing here. I have to take my leave now. Just like that. You don't even want to fight for the one you claim to love. Do you even love me at all? I just told you I can't continue with you and all you can say is you respect my decision. What else do you want me to say? You can't even beg. That is the last thing I will do. I cannot beg for love. If I beg you to marry me, that means I should be ready to beg you for the rest of my life to stay with me. You just hurt my feelings right now. I didn't expect this at all from you. I have to go now. Please marry me, Elizabeth. I can't imagine life without you. Make me a complete man by saying yes to me. But you just said... I wanted to see the level of love you have for me. I'm sorry for hurting you. Please marry me. Yes, I will marry you. Michael, where are you coming from? Are you out of your mind? Is that the good morning you're supposed to say to me? Answer my question, Michael. Where were you last night? Be thankful to God that I don't hate women. If not, I would have dealt with you this morning. Is that the only thing you can say to me? You left the house since yesterday, only to come back this morning. And so? Is it not my house? When I bought the house, you didn't contribute a dime to it. I am so disappointed in you. I didn't expect this from you. As if I care. I hope there is food in this house, because I'm starving. Didn't you eat where you went to? I hope you know the repercussion of talking back at me in a disrespectful manner. Why are you torturing me emotionally, Michael? What did I ever do to you? Isn't it too early for this? Go and prepare my stuffs. I don't want to be late to work. Don't you love me anymore? What happened to all the promises? Don't let me repeat myself, Ivo. Go in and prepare my clothes and make breakfast for me. I don't want to be late for work. We will have a long discussion when you get back today. That will happen only if I have a spare time for you. Hey baby. Were you able to see her? She told me she will be very busy. Why not go for Fever's wedding planner? She was the first person I called. It turned out that she is busy at the moment. Hmm. Now wow. So lack of events planner would delay our wedding. I'm just confused. We can plan this thing ourselves. So many people have planned it themselves and it was successful. I know. I'm not doubting that. But considering the fact that we are always busy. I can take permission from my boss. For how long? If we are planning this thing, then it will take about two months or so. Ah, it's too long now. When our wedding is in three months time. If we can't find a wedding planner, then we can proceed to a court wedding. No, I don't accept that. Having a court wedding is like hiding from the world. I want the whole world to know that you are the love of my life. I would have blushed if we were not in a tight situation. This is not the time to blush. Don't worry, my love. I will get a wedding planner for you. Okay, I'll leave it to you then. Okay, let me go get you something to eat. You must be tired. Yes, I am. Okay, I'm coming. My love, I miss you so much. I miss you too, honey. I hope you're fine. How can I be fine when I haven't seen you since today? It's just yesterday, babe. And you're already complaining. I want to see you always, every minute of the day. Sorry, couldn't see yesterday. What about today? I hope I'll see you. I'm sorry, my love. But I have to work. Let's make it this weekend. It seems this work will come between us. It's becoming stressful. What if you quit and I pay you twice of what you are being paid there? It would be great, but you know I wouldn't want to ask that from you. Why? You think I'm not capable? I might look like a gold digger, but I'm not. I genuinely love you. I feel very relieved to hear that. You know I feel the same way. I know. So what do you say? Will you wait this weekend? No, I can't wait. It's too far. Quit the job and I'll pay your salary monthly. You're really serious about it? Of course I am. Just do it and I will surprise you. Okay, babe. You can come over. Let's have some fun. Okay, I'll be on my way soon. Who are you speaking with on the phone? What business of yours is it? Why do you like poking your nose into what doesn't concern you? 
I don't like the way you sounded on the phone with a person. And I'm supposed to apologize for talking to someone on the phone? I just hope you are not violating our marriage vows. Is there nothing for you to do? What are you doing here? Are you done washing those clothes? It is funny how you treat me like a maid. So what are you? What is your duty in this house? I don't want to come back and find clothes there. I think he's cheating on me. I have to find out if it is true. God, please let it be that I am wrong. I really don't know what to do if it is true. Let me go see things for myself. Sweetheart, I thought you would not come again. You know I would never do that. Especially when I have been longing to see you the whole day. I missed you so much and I have been bored at home. So where do you like me to take you to? Let's go shopping. I want to change my wardrobe. Okay, baby. After that, I'll take you somewhere. Where? Would you like to go to the spa for massage? Wow, that would be wonderful. What are we waiting for? Michael, so it is true. What are you doing here? Are you following me? So my instinct has been right all along. Homie, who is she? She's my roommate who claims to be my wife. Michael, how could you do this to me? How could I do what to you? I was on my own and you decided to follow me. How is it my fault? Young lady, you may take your leave now. So you can see we're going out. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? There are a thousand and one men out there. Why not choose one instead of being with a married man? You are not enough for him. A man is entitled as many women as he wants. Tell her, I wish I had seen you first. It doesn't make any difference, my love. After all, I am still here. Michael, is this you? No, it is your grandfather. I loved her reply. Maybe she's blind. Why are you still wasting our time here with her? Let's go. I'm waiting for her to leave so I can lock my door. Fivo, it's time for you to leave now. That you found out about me and Belinda. What do you intend to do about it? Michael, why? Do I really deserve this? Whatever. With the tears. I guess she won't attract pity for yourself. Her tears can never get to me. I can't stand this woman anymore. Let's go. What about your door? Do you want to leave it open? We have insecurities everywhere. Nothing will go missing unless she's a thief. Don't hurt me this way, please. Baby, let's go. <laughs> this is really painful. Michael, please don't go. Babe, how far? Man, if I see gone eh, I will blow one shot for you. Why? Are you surprised to see me? Of course I am. I mean, you rarely come here unless it's important. <laughs> I guess I am not the only one guilty about that. Favor is guilty as well. Exactly. So how are you? How is the wedding preparations going? Everything is fine. My fiance gave me a wonderful wedding planner. Wow, this your fiance is always helping you out. You're exactly. That is why I love him so much. You are so lucky, my dear. Congratulations, Jerry. Thank you, dearie. But something brought me here. I thought as much, but well, hope there is no problem. Peace, is there something you are not telling me? I don't understand. Where is this question coming from? Is there anything you are not telling me that you think I would like to know? Of course not. We don't keep things from each other, remember? But it seems you have broken the rule. You are keeping something from me. I am not. Probably I can't remember. What happened between you and my fiancé? I, I... You what? Can't you talk anymore? I knew this day would come one day. You haven't answered my question, Peace. Did you sleep with my fiancé? Of course not. Why would I do that? I so why is it so hard for you to tell me what happened? I am the owner of the company your fiancé works. I believe he told you why he stayed back from work some time ago. Wait. You were the CEO that confessed her love to my fiancé some time ago? Yes, I'm really sorry, my friend. I didn't know he was the Joshua you told us about. Not until the day you took me to his house. How could you be so loose, peace? Are you so desperate for marriage to the point of asking men out? I'm so sorry. I had a crush on him. I had to tell him how I felt. And you think it's wise to tell me after you found out he's my fiancé? I'm sorry. I Stop telling me you are sorry and tell me why. I wanted to tell you. I was waiting for the right time until I forgot about it. I am disappointed in you, peace. Yeah. 
Here we are. You're welcome to my humble abode. Wow, you have such a beautiful place as a house. Oh, please, don't flatter me. I guess your house is more beautiful. What makes you say so? You haven't been to my house before. You are beautiful. So everything around you is beautiful. <laughs> you are so funny. So won't you offer me a seat? Oh, my bad. Please have a seat. Thank you. So what can I offer you? Come on. You don't have to always offer me something whenever we meet. So you mean if we eventually get married, you will offer me something whenever we see? <laughs> don't be ridiculous. You haven't even accepted to be in a relationship with me. Well, that is one of the reasons why I came to see you. Really? Should I hope or not? Don't raise your hopes high. It might be negative. No, nah, don't say that, please. You know how much I want to be with you. Well, I thought about it. And I've decided to give us a chance. Are you serious? Thank you very much, my love. Wait, I hope this is not one of your jokes. <laughs> why would I joke with something like that? It is not a joke, my love. That is exactly what I want to hear from you. But let me ask you, what are your plans for me? I want to marry you, then I will know what to do next. That is exactly what I wanted to tell you. I don't want to stay for long. I want us to get married as soon as we can. Yes, baby. This is not a problem. I want to have you forever. Come and show me around your house. Let me get you something to drink first. I don't want to take anything now. Don't be stubborn. I'll be back soon. Officer, this is a thief. Excuse me. How dare you barge into my house like that? Your house indeed. Where is my 200,000 Naira? What are you talking about? When did I borrow 200,000 Naira from you? You this thief. Where is the 200,000 Naira I kept in my room? I still don't understand what you're saying. How am I supposed to know where you kept your 200,000 Naira? You thought I wouldn't find out, huh? When I'm done with you, you will hate yourself. I won't have you come to my house and insult me. Where is my money? You better start talking. What is going on here? Why is there so much noise? Good afternoon, sir. My name is Sergeant Ifreke. You are under arrest for thefts. We will explain better when you get to the station. I beg you to remain silent, because anything you say here will be used against you in the court of law. Officer Wait, Belinda, what is the problem? Why are you arresting her? This woman stole my money the day she followed you to my house, and we left her there alone. Okay. When I got back to the house, I found my room scattered, so I immediately rushed to where I kept my 200,000 Naira. Lo and behold, she took it. For how could you? If you needed money, why didn't you tell me? I didn't take her money, Michael. Don't tell me you believe her. Actually, I stopped keeping money in the house because when I do, it goes missing. I never asked you because I didn't want you to feel bad. But with what she just said, you have proven to me that you are the thief that steals my money. What? Michael? Don't Michael me. How could you do such a thing? I provide everything for you, and you're not contented. You shamelessly stole her money. Officer, please arrest her. I don't have much time here. Let's make this simple for us. No dragging and no pushing. Move by yourself. You shall surely report you so. Officer, please, let me inform my friends. You will do that when you get to the station. Now, move. Hey, boo. Fine girl. Longest time. Where have you been now? You are always asking of my whereabouts, but you don't call to check up on me. Sorry, dear. You know how Roslyn is. I know. I'm used to you always using your work as an excuse. But wait, though. It's been a while your company requested for my services. Is it that they didn't like the last one I did? They liked it. Your designs are perfect. But since I'm no longer working there, I don't know if they need your services or not. Ha! Why now? Were you sad or what? No, I resigned. My uncle wants to give me something else to do. Wow, that's nice. I hope it will be better than your former job. 
Of course it will. But you should have given my number to any of your colleagues now. And your company doesn't have my number in case they need me. Wait, are you friends with me because of what you will benefit? Of course not. You are my friend and I appreciate our friendship. Well, I thought of this for you. Wow, thank you dear. I really appreciate. You are welcome. Have you had something to eat? No dear, not yet. I actually wanted to step out and get something to eat before you came in. What about Victoria? She traveled to see our parents. She'll be back next week. Wow, that's a bit too far. Don't worry, I can help you until she comes back. No dear, I appreciate your concern, but I can sort myself out. I said, I can be of great help to you. No Belinda, thanks but no thanks. Why do you keep pushing me away, Pascal? I try my best to make you see how much I care about you, but you turn blind eyes to it. Let me ask you this, Belinda, and this is the last time I will ask you. What do you want from me? I want you. I'm in love with you. Can't you see? Well, I appreciate your love towards me, but no thanks. I don't need it. Didn't you tell me that you are blessed and no longer together? And so? Because I am no longer with her, I should jump into a relationship with you. You know my intentions are pure. I promise to give you the peace you have always wanted. Belinda, I want you to kill every feelings you think you have for me, or I will end this friendship. Pascal, please give me a chance, please. I promise not to disappoint you. I can't accept this gift from you. Get up and leave my house. Pascal, please. Leave my house this minute. Think about it. Babe, how did this happen? I mean, how did you end up here? I was really shocked when Peace told me you were arrested. Hmm. My dear, I was accused of what I didn't do. Who accused you and who arrested you? I can't start telling you everything right now. But my husband's side chick accused me of stealing her money. What? Michael is cheating on you? Yes. He has been cheating on me for a while now, though I just found out. Oh my god. And why did you keep it from us? I guess you didn't expect me to run to you and start telling you how irresponsible my husband is. I guess you passed through so many other things. <laughs> yes. I haven't been happy in my marriage since the day I married Michael. I have been emotionally and mentally damaged. Has he laid his hands on you before? No, it's verbally and his actions. So how did his side chick end up accusing you of stealing his money? I followed him one day to know if truly he is cheating on me and I ended up in the girl's house. He hurt my feelings and I felt betrayed. He and his side chick left me. I was too weak to go home. After a while I left, only for her to come to the house and accused me of stealing her money when she left. Babe, we know you didn't steal it, but be sincere with us. We want to hear from your mouth if what she said is true or not. Peace, what is wrong with you? How could you ask her such a question? I am positive she did not steal that money. It's okay, Elizabeth. I totally understand her point, but I didn't do it. I am innocent. How much is the money? 200,000 naira. Come on, 200,000 naira. That is why you are here. We will get you out of this place by tomorrow. It's already late. But the problem is that I don't have the money to pay. We never told you to pay a dime. What are friends for? I wonder, oh. Relax, baby girl. Everything will be fine soon. Thanks, girls. I really appreciate. But babe, why did you choose to remain in the house for so long after your wedding? You are a hard-working lady. I'm surprised to know that you don't even have a business of your own. Michael borrowed all my money before the wedding, and he is here to pay back. It's not really cool for you to stay in the house. I will give you 5 million naira to start a business. I will support you with 5 million naira to make it 10 million. Please, dear, use it wisely. Oh my god, thank you so much. I don't know what I would have done without you girls. Madam, I can see that you have finally been released. Good evening. How was your holiday at the station? It was good. This will teach you a lesson never to steal again. Thank you. Besides, how were you able to pay? I guess you used the money you stole to bail yourself out. I would like to go inside and have some rest. I am really tired. <laughs> Look at this jobless thief. What are you tired of? 
stealing or going to the station. Thank you. I appreciate everything you say to me. Do you have a choice? Is it not true that you are a thief? Thank you. Go in there and clean the house. The dishes are dirty. Even most of my clothes are dirty. No problem. You disgust me, Favor. I can't believe I live with a thief. No problem. I wonder what you would teach your children when you finally have one. No problem. Stop replying me with no problem. Are you out of your mind? No problem. Get out of here. Thank you. Why is Peace not here? She called to inform me that she has something very urgent to attend to. Oh, she should have called to inform me now. Is there a problem? I wanted to take you girls out today. At least to thank you properly for what you've done for me. Come on, Fivo. You don't need to. And to thank us. You would have done the same if any of us were in your position. I know, but I feel indebted to you both. And we appreciate it in the little way I can. I feel very bad that you're even thinking of paying us back. Why then are we sisters? You don't understand what I am trying to say. I am sure peace would not be in support of these two. You both are wonderful. I really appreciate. You are welcome. So have you started anything yet? Yes, I have. Trust me, it's not been easy, but it's worth it. I am glad to hear that. Being an independent woman is the best thing ever. Thanks, girl. It wouldn't have been possible without you both. Oh, please. Aren't you tired of saying thank you already? <laughs> I can never be tired of saying thank you. So what up with your wedding? Everything is going smoothly. The wedding planner my husband brought to me is just the best. Point of correction. He is not yet your husband. <laughs> I can't help but address him as my husband. <laughs> I know the feeling, Sha. Just pray he should be a good partner to you. I pray so too, my dear. So is your wedding planner better than the lady that planned my wedding? I can't say she is. They are good in their own ways. I beg, the day should come fast. I can't wait to eat party rice. <laughs> Silly girl. Babe, how far now? I'm surprised to see you at home today. <laughs> I know, right? Work has been really demanding of recent. Shut up, Jerry. You think I don't know? See me see Keso. Know what? You'll be going to see that Justin of a guy. <laughs> Actually, you're not entirely wrong. But I work most of the times. Okay, oh, this Justin of a guy. It seems you really like him. I really love him. Hmm. You're always lucky to find love. Hey, don't tell me that is jealousy I'm hearing. I'm just so sad because all the guys that approach me, I feel nothing for any of them. That is to show that your Mr. Wright has not arrived yet. He should just come fast because I'm tired of waiting. I know, right? I'm just lucky. I didn't know I'll find a good man when I left Pascal. Pascal is a regime. If you like, repeat what you did to Pascal and expect God to give you anything good. I know. I have learned my lesson. I will give him my trust. And Justin is really good. He is faithful to me. How sure are you? I don't know. I'm just sure. He discussed married plans with me to show how serious he is. You are lucky, my dear friend. As for me, I will continue waiting for my Mr. Right. Let me go check what to wear tomorrow. What is happening tomorrow? Justin wants to take me to his parents. Wow, the guy is really serious, so let's go and choose the best outfit for you. Thanks, dear. Does she take this long to come back? Yes, something late at night. Where did she go to? I thought you said she's not working. She's not working. When she comes back, I'll find out where she always go to. Maybe she's cheating on you. She dare not try such nonsense. I will deal with her and her lover. You don't have to worry, my love. After all, you have me and I'm here to stay. Fever, come back here. Where are you coming from? Good evening. Where are you coming from, you thief? The title fits her very well. I told you where I went to when I left the house in the morning. You mean you are at your friend's house this morning? Yes. Shut up, you liar. Better tell me the truth. If I find out, you won't like my actions. Well... I guess there is no need to hide it anymore. I went to work. Work? You got a job? No, I am self-employed. 
I opened a business for myself. <laughs> you opened a business for yourself? With which money? The one you stole? That shouldn't be your problem. Allow me to carry the cross. Baby, why not tell her at once so she can go inside? I can't stand the sight of her. Favor, this is Belinda, my wife-to-be. She will be staying with us from now on. Okay. Welcome, Belinda. Is that all you have to say? I wish you both a happy married life in advance. Just get out. Thank you. Justin called me early this morning. He told me he had a surprise for us. Same thing he told me. He said he will cook lunch because he's coming with a visitor. He didn't mention that part to me. Who could the visitor be? Maybe he wants to bring a woman to the house. Is that the only thing you can think of? Of course, his actions explain it all. He said he was a surprise for us. And he said he should cook lunch for his visitor. Okay, let's wait and see for ourselves. Good afternoon, mom. Good afternoon, dad. Afternoon, my son. I thought you could be coming in the morning. Sorry, dad. I'm not late after all. Justin, my son, how are you doing? I'm fine, mom. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, ma'am. Afternoon, my dad. Justin, is this the surprise you said you have for me? Yes, dad. Meet Blessing, the woman after my heart. Blessing, meet my parents. They're the pillar of my life. Without them, I wouldn't be where I am today. It's nice to meet you, mom and dad. Such a beautiful lady. You're highly qualified to be my daughter-in-law. Thank you, ma'am. I'm glad to finally meet you both. You're welcome, my daughter. You are the first lady my son has introduced to us. That makes you special. Oh, thank you, sir. Baby, your parents are really nice. I told you. So, Justin, any plans yet? I hope you don't intend to tie her down with engagement. Not at all, Dad. I want to marry her. I will go meet her parents, too. That is nice. The date should be fixed soon because you are not getting any younger. Don't rush the kids. Allow them to take it one step after the other. Don't worry, Mom. Everything will take place soon. Okay, well, let me go set the table then. Hi, Pascal. Oh, blessing. Longest time. Yeah, it's been really long. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm fine too. I'm really sorry for what happened between us. No, don't apologize. That is in the past now. Let's leave it behind us. Thank you. So how is your sister? She is fine. She traveled. I guess she will be back soon. You're not looking bad at all. Do you have a woman in your life now? Is that a problem? Not at all. I am just concerned to know if you truly have moved on from me. Do I need a woman to move on? I have moved on with my life. It's nice to hear that. I have been engaged. Wow, congratulations, dear. I'm happy for you. Thank you. I hope you'll come to my wedding. Why not? Just let me know when the date is fixed. Okay, dear. So where are you heading to? Somewhere far. Take care of yourself. We will see you next time. He doesn't even want to have a difference with me. <laughs> you are so funny. You almost fell the cake down. As in eh, the happiness was just too much. Exactly. Being with your loved ones on an important day is the best thing ever. Yes, baby. I am lucky to be married into your family. We are both lucky to have each other. What should I cook for you tonight? No, my love. No cooking. I want to take you out. I hope you know now that we are married. We have lots of responsibilities. And so? I'm no longer allowed to spend money. No, honey. I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about our responsibilities as married couples. Oh, okay. Let's go check our gifts. Not yet. We can do that later. Are you tired? Yes, I am. But I'm anxious to know what they all gave to me as gifts. Aren't you tired? Those are our gifts. You can check them anytime. For now, I want you to rest while I go in and cook something for you to eat later. Oh, such a caring husband. That name sounds a bit strange to my ears. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll get used to it soon. So what would you like to eat? Um, anything of your choice would be okay. Okay, honey. Make sure you sleep while I'm away. Yes, daddy. Better. Hey, baby. Justin, why have you not been picking my calls? Sorry, baby, I was busy with work. Which work? Have you forgotten we work in the same company? And so, because we work in the same company, I can't be busy with work. Is that an excuse or what? 
What do you do when you come back to the house? Did you come to my house to question me? Justin, are you avoiding me? Of course not. You know how much I have always wanted to see you. So what's happening? You no longer care about me like you always do. Babe, you don't expect me to leave what I'm supposed to do to start caring about you. You should know that you're in my heart, even if I don't call. I have a feeling that something bad will happen soon. Something bad like what? I don't know. I have tried thinking of what it is, but my head is blank. I just have the feeling. Why are you doing this to yourself? You're just getting paranoid for no reason. No bad will happen, my love. I promise you will take me to your parents soon. Why is it taking you so much time? Why are you complaining? I told you to give me a little more time. I am tired of your little more time, Justin. I give you from now till Friday. If you don't take me to your parents, then consider this relationship over. Sweet Tata, you are weak. Yes, good afternoon. Afternoon, my love. How was your night? That is fine, thank you. You woke up so early. Are you okay? Yes, I am. I got up to get ready for work. What is wrong with your wife, Seth? She has changed. I woke up this morning with the hope that she has ironed my clothes as usual, prepared my bed, and made breakfast for me. But to my greatest surprise, she didn't do any of those. I'm not surprised. That woman is full of herself. She had the mind to make breakfast just for herself alone. And when I saw her eating, she looked at me in the eye and greeted me good morning. She's so annoying. Don't worry, my love. I'm here for you. I will replace her in everything. Just tell me what you want to do every morning and I will do it. Thank you, my love. You can always start by choosing a clothes for me and ironing it. Okay, before I go in and do that, I have something important to discuss with you. Okay, what is it? My friend introduced me to one of the best investing platforms in Nigeria. Okay, so what about it? It's an investment platform where you invest a certain amount of money and get paid twice of what you invested. Wow, I think I've heard of so many investment platforms and some of them turned out to be scam. Baby, trust me, this one is totally different. I am a living testimony of it. You invested? No, my friend did. She invested 5 million naira. They paid her 500,000 naira for three days. And on the fourth day, they returned two times of what she invested, which is 10 million naira. Wow, 500,000 naira for three days. Man, that is a huge amount of money. There are so many testimonies, baby. People are investing day by day. If it is genuine, then it is a nice platform. We should give it a try, baby. Are you sure it is a genuine platform? I'm very sure you can hold me responsible if it doesn't work out. Just imagine investing 10 million. You will be getting two times richer. If I invest in it today, how long will it take before I get the first 500,000? You will get it tomorrow. Okay, I will invest with all my money so I can be more richer. How much do you have in your account? I have 15 million in my account. Wow, that means you will be getting 30 million naira in return. Man, I can't wait to get the 500,000 naira tomorrow. Of course, you will. So when will you send the money? This morning before I go to work. Okay, honey. Let me go in and iron your clothes. Good evening, Dad. Good evening, my son. It is unusual for you to come without informing us. I hope everything is okay. Yes, Dad. Everything is totally fine. Good evening, Daddy. Good evening, my daughter. How are you? I am fine, sir. Dad, where is Mom? I have an announcement to make. I'm here. Is everything okay? Yes, Mom. Everything is fine. Okay, then. Go ahead with the announcement. Dad, Mom, this is Peace. She's my... My... Why are you stammering, Justin? Meet my fiancé, Peace. Peace, meet my parents. Your what? Are you out of your mind? What nonsense are you saying? What are you doing, Justin? About what? I am the lady you met when you visited Justin. He claimed I am his colleague. Oh, I see. I knew it that your face looks familiar. Yes, ma. I am the one. Justin and I are engaged. So he brought me to you. Oh, really? It would not have been wonderful if Justin hadn't. Mom, please. We'll talk about this later. If what you are doing now is real, then I am disappointed in you. This is not how we raised you. I'm sorry, Dad. Please, I'll explain later. Better do. I don't understand what just happened now. I'm sorry for my parents' behavior. How can you explain their actions? It is obvious they don't like me. 
No, don't say that, my love. They like you. They're just surprised to see me bring a woman to the house. Something I've never done before. Hmm. I feel they should accept that fact soon. They will. Uh uh, madam of the house, where are you going to with your luggage? I've decided to leave your husband for you. I hope you're happy now. <laughs> hey, did I just hear you right? You are living the love of your life. I don't want to be the reason for another woman's tears. Since when? Are you just realizing it now? I know you are pinned and bittered, but forget that I exist. I don't want your husband anymore. Why? You have seen what I used to see, Abby. Not really. I just decided to repent. <laughs> For what reason? You better go back and keep your bag. Why? You don't want me to leave anymore. I will save him with a divorce letter, so it is your chance to marry him. So you mean you don't have a problem with me being with your husband? Even if I have a problem with it, of what use will it be? You are a good woman, but I don't think divorce is a good idea. Stay with your husband. Just imagine who is giving me advice. Why are you running? Why can't you stay? It is not important to tell you the reason why I'm moving out. I know what you're trying to do. You are among the people that says, no one knows tomorrow. After offending a person, Abby, you want to make peace in case of tomorrow. Your problem is that you think you know all, but you definitely do not know anything. Thank you, Madam Know All. Why not wait for your lover boy to return before you leave? I can't wait. I have a flight to catch by 5 in the evening. You are leaving the country? Yes, I mean no. I'm just traveling. Okay, oh, safe journey. Thank you. Hmm, what have I got myself into? Now I have engaged two women. The wedding date has been fixed. How do I handle this? Who should I let go? These two women are really important to me. I wish there's a way I could marry both of them at once. Listen, my love, please forgive me. Whatever I am doing now, I'm doing it for us. Having a comfortable life after the wedding is the goal, and I can't accomplish that without peace. But wait, too. The wedding is on separate days. I can marry the both of them and keep them in separate homes. Hmm, what am I even saying? How is it possible to run two homes without getting caught? I just need to think of something. I can't lose blessing. She's the woman out of my heart. I love her so much, and I can't lose peace either. She's my money-making machine. Good evening to you. Evening to you too, Madam Tiff. <laughs> Isn't that a wonderful name? It is, and the title fits you very well. Thank you. It is my pleasure. Shame on you. Thanks, bro. Honey. Where is the love of my life? Trouble they sleep. Younger go welcome. Allow me to mind my business in peace, I beg. Mind your business in which house? Answer my question. What kind of question is that, Michael? How am I supposed to know where she is? I notice that her things are missing in our room. Where has she gone to? Stop asking me such a silly question. Is she a child? You are older than her, and you are the first wife. You are supposed to look after the second wife. <laughs> So I am no longer a thief, eh? I am now a babysitter. Just pray to your God that she picks the call, or else I will lock you behind bars. Chai, I don't suffer. It seems the police station is now my second home. What would you say is my offense? You have always hated Belinda because she has what you don't have. And all of a sudden, she goes missing. I will charge you for kidnapping. <laughs> Such a wicked world we live in. Pray she picks up. Nonsense. Sweetheart, where are you? I hope you are okay. Hello, I'm okay. Are you just coming back from work? Yes, my love. I tried finding out your location from your co-wife, but she proved stubborn. Where are you and when are you coming back? Sorry about that. I traveled. It was nice meeting you, Michael. Take care of yourself. I'm out of town. I won't be coming back anymore. I've seen your things in my room. Where are you? Forget about me. I'm no longer interested in marrying you. Go back to your wife. Last. But not the least. Thank you for the 15 million naira. Che, I'm finished. I'm finished too. What is the problem? Did someone die? Belinda, oh. Belinda has done me the worst. What has she done? She has left me. She took away all my money. My hard-earned money. 
My sweat, oh my god, why? Why? What did I do to her? Hmm. I can't believe the love of your life did this to you. Take that and... Hello, beautiful. Hmm, madam. This why you're looking all right, Jan. Any good news? <laughs> Excuse me. So can't I be happy without having a good news? How much have you made today? Because only money can make someone glow within few seconds. Well, what is given to me is better than money. Gold cannot be compared to it. Hmm. You and this are Justin. Always praising him. I can never be tired of praising him. Our wedding has been fixed. Really? Wow. Congratulations, my dear. I'm happy for you. Thank you, dear. I would like you to be my true bridesmaid. Who else other than me? In fact, this wedding, we are planning it together. <laughs> But unfortunately, I won't be the one to plan my wedding. You want to get another wedding planner when you are one yourself? I gave the job to my staffs. They will handle it well, since I will be there to supervise them. Okay, dear. That is better. Will you invite Pascal? No. Why? I thought we both are in good terms. Yes, we are. But for some reason, I feel he's avoiding me. It's okay. It is not really compulsory to invite him anyway. Yeah. It is not compulsory. This is definitely a goodbye for us. Be sincere. Do you still have feelings for Pascal? Yes, I do. But not like before. I'm trying my best to forget about him. I understand. It's not easy, but you have to. Yes, dear. What kind of bad luck is this? Who would have thought that Belinda is a thief? What did I really do to deserve this? I gave her everything she wanted. I even paid her monthly for being with me, and she had the mind to run me dry like this without pity. I wish I had been contented with my beautiful wife. I don't even know what to do now. Belinda, how could you do this to me? I loved you with everything in me. I trusted you. Is this how you paid me back for my kindness? <laughs> I've been drained of everything in my account. Now I'm left with nothing. How will I survive till it's time to pay my salary? Maybe I should ask the MD for a salary advance. Yes, that is what I'll do. Good morning, sir. You sent for me, sir. Sit down, Michael. Thank you, sir. I hope there is no problem. I want to ask you a few questions, Michael. Okay, sir. On the 15th of this month, what time did you close from work? I closed by 10 at night, sir. Why did you stay for so long? I had some unfinished work on my table. I wanted to complete it before going to the house, since I didn't want to take it to the next day. Apart from you, who else stayed back in the company? Felix was also in the company with me. Between you and Felix, who left the company first? I don't know. I left when I got tired of working. I didn't check who was still in the company. Who is the head of the finance department for this week? It is me, sir. Felix is my assistant. What a coincidence. Isn't it ridiculous that the head of finance and his assistant stayed back on the day 15 million Naira got missing? What are you talking about, sir? Money got missing? Didn't you hear the amount I mentioned? God forbid, sir. I've never heard of such thing. So you mean I am lying? No, sir. How can I see that? I mean, I didn't know such amount of money got missing. Felix and I were in charge of money for that week. Have you forgotten that the calculations are always made at the end of the week for any head of finance for the week. I'm shocked to hear that such amount of money is missing. I want the truth, nothing but the truth. You take the 50 million naira. God forbid, sir. I didn't take any money. I'm innocent. Then who took it? I swear I'm not the one, sir. I'm innocent. How come 50 million naira got missing the same night you both stayed back at the office? And you both were the head of finance for the week. I sincerely do not know, sir. I'm innocent. Go to your office and clear your table. You are sacked. I give you and your accomplice six months to refund the money. Please, sir. I'm already going through some emotional pain right now. And if you add to it, I'll be damaged completely. Get out of my office, you thief. I'm giving you just six months.
I am finished. I'm finished to What is the problem? Is everything okay? Everything is not okay. My life has been shattered. Who shattered your life? Are you still crying because of the love of your life? She's not the love of my life. That girl is the devil in disguise. <laughs> She's no longer the love of your life because she took your money. <laughs> my god. Wow, what is happening to me? Do I really deserve this? It seems something else happened to you again today. I'm accused of stealing 50 million. I mean, I know nothing about it. Hey, <laughs> is God not wonderful? Few months ago, hey, I was accused of stealing 200,000 naira when I didn't. And now, you are accused of stealing 50 million naira when you didn't. That is life, my brother. Why is this happening to me? I just want the ground to swallow me. Hey, yeah, but I hope you still have your job, Sha. It would have been better if I still had my job. I was sacked with no compensation. Hmm, oh wow. Okay then, let me go inside and sleep. I am tired. Where will I start from? All my hope was on that job, and now I am sacked. I don't even have anything in my account. How do I survive? Oh God, help me. Peter, are you not going to work today? No, I don't feel too strong. What is wrong with you? You have been complaining of headache for a while now. I don't really know what is wrong with me. Don't worry. Go, I'll be fine. I can't leave you when you're not feeling too well. No, my love. Go to work so you don't get queried by your boss. Let me take you to the hospital. I'll call my boss to explain. I believe she'll understand. After all, she's your friend. No, baby. Don't say that because she's my friend doesn't mean you should joke with your job. If she gives you suspension for this, I won't blame her. If she wants to sack me, let her go ahead. I cannot leave you like this. Let me take you to the hospital. Why are you so stubborn? It's just a minor headache. It will stop. Minor headache, but severe enough to make you stay back from your business. Okay, fine. You win. You like dragging things too much. You know I don't joke when it comes to you. You're my first. My job comes second. Oh, that is so sweet. But next time, don't neglect your job again because of me. Yes, I won't. Call her and inform her you won't be coming before she notices your absence. Okay. Hello? Good morning, ma. It is me, Joshua. How are you, Joshua? I'm fine, thank you, ma. Please, I need your permission to take a day off today. What is your reason? My wife is sick, and I want to take her to the hospital. Elizabeth is sick? Oh my God, what is wrong with her? I don't know either. Maybe malaria. I want to take her to the hospital to confirm. Okay, please, send my regards to her. All right. Thank you, ma, for your understanding. You are welcome. And report to work very early. I have some important documents I want to show you. Okay. Thank you, ma. You just made her worried. It was intentional. Let's go. Good morning, my love. What did you just call me, Michael? Don't you ever call me that name again. I sincerely know how you feel. Please, I want to have a word with you. I am not interested in hearing whatever you want to say. Listen to me first, please. Just give me a few minutes. I give you five minutes to say what you want to say and leave my room. Baby, I know I don't deserve to be forgiven. But remember that we are humans and we are bound to make mistakes. <laughs> what is this I am about to hear? Please, explain it in clear terms. I know I have wronged you. I accuse you of something you did not do. Please forgive me and let's start over again. Wow, so easy for you to say. Well, Mr. Michael... Keep your apology to yourself. I don't want it. Fivo, please give me a second chance. I have realized my mistake and I promise I won't repeat it again. I cannot forgive you, Michael. After everything you did to me, you expect me to forget about it, pretend like nothing happened. After all the emotional damages, the pain of making me starve every day. I know, but to err is human and to forgive is divine. Don't tell me that. When you were busy destroying me up and down, you didn't remember the saying, treat everyone the way you would like to be treated. Baby, please forgive me for everything I did to you. I don't know what came over me. It will never happen again. You don't know what came over you when you borrowed money from me and refused to pay back, when you tortured me emotionally, when you starved me for days, and when you brought in a second wife. You still don't know what came over you. I know I don't deserve your forgiveness. But please have mercy. I will never repeat it again. You are coming to bear for forgiveness just because Belinda left you and you got sacked from work. <laughs> Some human being can be ridiculous. No, that is a lie. I planned on changing my ways. Please forgive me. You planned on changing your ways. 
Well, too bad, because I can't forgive you. My mind is made up. I want a divorce. So you knew about it and you couldn't tell me? I'm serious, baby. I didn't know. I was equally surprised when the doctor said it. How is it possible not to have known you are pregnant? I mean, it's your body. Your tummy is supposed to feel heavy. <laughs> no, babe. It is still too early to have a heavy tummy. Let me ask you and be sincere to yourself. Are you ready to be a mother? Yes, I am. And I know I will make a good mother. What about you? You shouldn't ask me that. You know I'm ready. I want to have a baby girl that looks like you and plays around this house. I don't need a baby girl first. A bouncing baby boy all the way. Baby boy again. Okay. One that will take my wife's attention from me. <laughs> you are in for it, bro. Whether boy or girl, they will still take my attention from you. Thank God they won't be here any time soon. So I can have you all to myself. <laughs> you better go to work. I won't go today. I took permission, remember? Oh, I forgot. Thank God we are pregnant at the right time. My boss promised to increase my salary for next month. Wow, that's nice of her. Wait, did I just hear you say we are pregnant? Of course, both of us are pregnant, considering the kind of lazy wife I have. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous, babe. I am hardworking. I'm not doubting. You are only hardworking when it comes to your business. Go away, Joe. I'll practically do everything for you. So you are starting now to complain? Must even feel the pain of pregnancy more than you. Of course not. That's actually the fun part of it. You know how much I love and cherish you. I'll do anything, anything for you and my unborn child. I know, baby. I love you too. Good evening, Dad. Have a seat. I don't have time for your greetings right now. Dad, I hope there's no problem. I will not fail to tell you that. I'm disappointed in you. How could you? Dad, what are you talking about? How could I what? Shut up and don't pretend like you don't know what I'm talking about. If this is about blessing and peace, then I'm not interested in this conversation. You must be interested, Justin. How you engaged two women at the same time. Dad, you won't understand. Even if I try to explain it to you. I don't need your explanation. What I need from you now is to cut off the engagement between one of them. Who do you think I will let go, Dad? The last person you brought to me. I'm not saying she is not good enough. I want you to let her go because you already brought someone to us and we recognized her. This is the problem. I can't leave peace. She made me who I am. What are you talking about? That is the reason why I said you will not understand. If you can't let her go, then let go of the first one you brought. The first one is the love of my life. I experience peace and happiness when I'm with her. Why are you confused? Why do you want to hurt this innocent woman? I'm not hurting them. They both want me and I want them too. I will marry both of them secretly and keep them in different houses. They won't even know themselves. I pity you, Justin. This is not how I raised you. You want to start something you will not be able to finish. Don't worry, Dad. Allow me to handle this. No one will get hurt. I just need your support. I can never support such evil atrocity from you. I will support with the first girl and if you go ahead with the second one, you are definitely on your own. Is that what you are saying to me, Dad? You know I need your blessings for both. Leave my house, Justin. I am done with this conversation. Man, babe, I am so surprised to see you. What if I had gone to work? I followed my instinct. My instinct told me you are at home. Keep following your instinct. One day to fail you. At least I'm glad it didn't fail me today. So what can I offer you? Don't worry, dear. I didn't come to take anything. Okay, oh. so how are you now? Any progress yet concerning your wedding? That is why I am here. Please, I need the phone number of that girl that planned your wedding. Um, what is that her name again? Blessing. Yes, Blessing. Let me check. Maybe I deleted it. I just hope you haven't lost it. Found it. You are lucky. Let me call her at once. Yes, so you would know if she is busy or not. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Please, who am I speaking with? Um, my name is Peace. I got a number from a friend. I need your services. Oh, that's nice. But I'm sorry, Ma. I'm already engaged with something else. Oh, I see. Yeah, my wedding is getting close. 
and I'm the one handling it. It will be stressful to involve yours too. Wow, you're getting married? Yes, ma, I'm engaged. Wow, congratulations to you. Thank you, ma. Sorry for the disappointment. No, it's nothing. I will just quickly get someone else. All right, no problem. Thank you, ma. Thank you, too. What did she say? She's busy. Yeah, she's busy planning her wedding. Wow, that is great. Congratulations to her. Yeah, we're all getting married this year. Hello, good evening to you. Good evening to you, too. Um, I came to see a friend of mine now. On my way going home, my car got spoiled. I don't know anyone around here. Why not go back to your friend's house since yours got spoiled? That is the problem. I can't go back. Her house is meters away. I wish it got spoiled around her neighborhood. Sorry about that. It will be hard to find a taxi here. Unless if you walk down to the main road. I can't leave my spoiled car in this neighborhood. Please, is there anywhere I can find a mechanic? Mm, there are no mechanics here but i can call my mechanic to come check it for you wow thank you very much you're a lifesaver hello ebuka are you at the shop okay please come over to my house there is a car i want you to check for me all right no problem please hurry what did he say is he coming yes he will be on his way soon. Oh, thank you very much. I'm very glad I met a good Samaritan like you. Else, my car would have been there for so long. It's okay. It is not harmful to help people sometimes. My name is Peace, and you? You can call me Pascal. Okay, Pascal, I have a meeting to attend in less than 20 minutes. That was the reason why I hurried home. You can go ahead. I will bring him here as soon as he arrives. Will he still be here after the repair? No. I will take it to my house. You can come there and get it. Your house? You have nothing to fear. I am a gentle man. Besides, you will just come get your car and go. Thank you very much. I have to go now. Your keys. So you could check the car after repair. Oh, geez, I can't give you my car keys. Don't be scared. If you haven't trusted a stranger before, then today should be your first time. Hmm, okay. Let me have your phone number so I can call you when the car is ready. Thank you very much, Pascal. You are welcome. Just keep walking down the road. You will see another road by your left. Keep walking until you get to the main road. Thank you. Bestie, I missed you so much. I missed you too. Sorry I couldn't check on you. I wanted to finish my honeymoon first. <laughs> that kind of thing still exists. Yes, ma'am. You look so good. Evidence that you are enjoying married life. Exactly, my dear. Marriage is sweet when you are married to the right person. I am happy for you. Peace stopped by yesterday. She came to ask for the wedding planner's phone number. But the girl is busy at the moment. So Peace wants to go ahead with the wedding after all I told her. You haven't really given a reason why she shouldn't marry him. What if he is with her because of her money? You have been saying that, Elizabeth. I can remember her telling you not to worry. That girl has lots of money to spend on him, if that is why he loves her. I am still pissed by that statement. She deserves real love. Allow her to be now. Let her enjoy love for once. Okay, oh, that is not even the reason I came here. What up? I want to ask you a very simple question. Hmm. Okay. Do you still love your husband? What kind of question is that, Elizabeth? And you expect me to answer that? Please, answer. I want to tell you something and be sincere to me. Yes. I still love Michael, but I can't be with him anymore. No, my love, don't say that. I know Michael is a wicked person. He deserves everything you do to him, but don't go too far. I will go too far. I can't stay with him under the same roof. I keep remembering everything he did to me. I know, bestie. I totally understand everything. But divorce is not a better option. That man used me in every possible way he could. And now that he is drained... He wants my forgiveness so he could continue from where he stopped. Forgive him, please. I believe he is a changed person. A changed person? Is that what he told you? He is only changed because he is broke and needs help. Why not give him a second chance? If he doesn't change like he claims, then you leave him. Hmm. Okay, I will think about it. Please do. Divorce is never an option. Oh, wow. Welcome to my house. Thank you. You have such a beautiful place. Thank you. 
How we didn't have any challenge locating my house. I did, but I asked around and they showed me here. You should have called me back to come pick you up. I didn't want you to go through all the stress after helping me fix my car. Come on, it's nothing. Please have a seat. Thank you. What can I offer you? I have wines, soft drinks, and alcohol. Don't worry, I don't want to take anything. Okay, so you won't say I drugged it or I poisoned it. It's better to be careful. We live in a wicked world. I totally understand. So I won't force you to take anything. You live here alone? Yes, I live alone. Is that a problem? Not at all. The house is really big and quiet. Well, I like it here. I like a very quiet environment and I love my peace. Same here. My environment is as quiet as yours and I like my privacy. But my dad comes in all the time, uninvited. <laughs> Parents can be worrisome. Are you married? No, but my wedding is in a month's time. Wow, congratulations, dear. That means I also have to find a wife as soon as possible. Yes, you do. You are not getting any younger. Yes, ma. I'm still searching. I have to be on my way now. All right, let's get your car keys. In my angel, I hope you slept well. I did not call you here for any pleasantries. Have a seat. I want to have a discussion with you. Okay, my love. Why did you have to involve my friend in our marriage problems? I'm sorry, sweetheart. Please just answer the question and stop with the sweet names because it doesn't move me anymore. I told her because I needed someone to talk to you on my behalf. You didn't give me a listening ear and I was losing my mind. <laughs> you were losing your mind because I didn't give you a listening ear. That means you wouldn't be able to handle what I went through in your hands. Maybe I'll keep on begging you until you forgive me. I love you and I want us to start again, please. Well, I have forgiven you. You have? Oh my God. Thank you so much, my love. I promise not to repeat it again. But on one condition. Whatever you want, I'll do for you. You will take the role of the wife while I take the role of the husband. How can that be? I'm the husband and you are the wife. Leave my room if you don't agree to it. Okay, fine. I've agreed. I need your forgiveness more than anything. Agreed? Yes, agreed. My love, you look so beautiful. I wonder how you will look on our wedding day. Oh, I want to look good for you always. You don't have to do anything to be beautiful. You are naturally beautiful. Thank you, baby. So how far with the preparation? Everything has been said. My wedding gown will arrive tomorrow evening. I can't wait to see you in it. Same here. I'm hungry. Did you cook? Yes, I did. Let me see the table. Hi, good evening. Good evening to you too. Wow, what a surprise. Do you remember me? No, I don't. But your face looks familiar. Are you not blessing the wedding planner? Can you remember Favor? You planned her wedding some months back. Wow. Now I remember you're our friend, right? Exactly. So my fiancé hired you to plan our wedding. Wow, this is so romantic. But he shouldn't have bothered because I found another event planner. Excuse me, what are you talking about? Wait, what are you doing here? Are you not here to work? Work? Of course not. Who are you here to see? My fiancé, of course. What are you doing here? This is my fiancé's house. I came here for us to talk about our wedding. What? Wait, Justin is your fiancé too? Jesus Christ. Peace, what are you doing here? Justin, who is she? She, 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 she. Can't you talk anymore? Peace, meet blessing, my fiancé. Blessing, meet peace, my fiancé. How dare you betray me this way? <laughs> so, Justin, all this while I was committed to you, you were cheating on me. I'm sorry, my love. I didn't mean to do this, but I needed money. She gave me money, lots of it. That was why I kept her. Justin, how could you do this to me? I trusted you. I gave you my all. I invested in you. And you chose to pay me back this way. I'm sorry, peace. You deserve a nice person. And you don't deserve this. I want you to choose between the both of us now. If you choose her, I promise to let you go. Yes, Justin, you have to choose. I can never be the other woman. I, I... Choose now, Justin. I choose blessing. What I feel for her is genuine love. Whenever I'm around her, I feel at home and at ease. I love her so much and can't imagine life without her. Really? I'm sorry, peace. If I choose to stay with you, I won't be happy for the rest of my life. No amount of money can buy happiness. I wish you good luck.
please are you okay you sound that broken on the phone did i disturb you no but you got me scared i was even about to come find you pascal i'm doomed i'm finished what is the problem i thought you left here to go see your fiance justin has killed me he has shattered my heart into pieces oh my god don't tell me you caught him with another woman that is exactly what happened he said he cannot be happy with me he was just using me why does bad things keep happening to good people why is it so hard to find true love i don't know i thought justin was genuine i didn't know he had his plans i'm finished no you are not finished you should be glad if you found out soon what are you saying my wedding was supposed to hold next month a cancelled wedding is better than a failed marriage stop crying this is not the end of the world It hurts so much. How do I start telling people my wedding will no longer hold? You shouldn't be concerned about what they say about you. Your happiness first. My father put me in this mess. He made me so desperate for marriage because of my age. And now look at where it has landed me. Marriage is not an achievement. So many people are getting divorced every day all over the world. Why would you allow someone pressurize you into getting married? Focus on yourself. and men will come chasing after you thank you i feel so relieved right now that guy that broke your heart couldn't deserve your tears you are very beautiful with a heart of gold any man would be lucky to have you oh thank you look at you that was crying now you are blushing <laughs> your words make me feel better so why did you choose to come here instead of being with your friends when i thought of where to go you were the first person that came to my mind your presence alone is a big relief to me I thought it was just me. I can feel the connection too. Good evening. How was work today? Work was fine. How was staying at home today? Baby, I can't do this. Sincerely speaking, this is tougher than working in an office. I hope you're not making an attempt to complain. I'm not complaining. I feel so weak right now. Go and take some drugs to relieve the weakness. I know it's because of hunger because I haven't eaten anything since morning. Well, sorry for the hunger, but you still have two more days to stay. Baby, please. I feel very weak. If I don't eat anything today, I will faint. Then go ahead and faint. The hospital is not far from here. I've done everything you told me to do. Why are you denying me food? How am I denying you food? Have you seen me with food? Even if it's a little money, please, I'll manage. I can't continue like this. If you can't continue like this, then you can walk away. I will file for a divorce and you sign it. No, it hasn't gotten to that. I don't want to walk away. I love you so much, please. Then be contented with the little I give you. Money is not easy to make. For how long will we continue to live this way? I feel very frustrated and miserable. Really? It is good you are feeling that way because that was exactly how I felt when you treated me this way. Why are you doing this to me? I begged you already and you said you are forgiving me. I have forgiven you, but I haven't forgotten what you did to me. Baby, please. I might die of hunger. Help me, please. I don't have money. We have water in the house. Drink it to your satisfaction. After all, you don't know how to make money. Good evening, Dad. No complaint today. I knew in time it was you. How are you doing? I should be asking you that. I haven't heard from you for some time now. Well, I'm fine. I'm just focusing on my work. How is the company growing? Rapidly, and I have competent workers too. I am blessed to have them. Why are you still working till now? You should have been resting at home. I don't understand that. Rest for what? Your wedding is in a few days time. I want you prepared for it. Oh my god, didn't Justin tell you? Tell me what. We ended things. There will be no wedding. What? Sit down that. There's no need to flare up. We are no longer together. Why? What went wrong? After all the preparation. I found that Justin was also planning a wedding with another woman. And so, is that the only reason? When he was asked to choose, he chose the woman over me. It turned out he was with me because of my money. And so, was that the reason you both called off the wedding? What do you mean and so? Is that not reason enough to call off a wedding? It's not good enough. You know how deep you are to have a husband. You should have endured. Point of correction, dad. I'm not desperate. You should be desperate, please. You no longer have a child. You have to settle down as soon as possible. I won't let you push me into making the wrong decisions all in the name of marriage. Marriage is by choice and not by force. If it turns out marriage is not for me, then so be it. I am done with this topic.
So what are you doing in my office? Please, I beg you in whatever God's name you serve, please listen to what I have to say. You have nothing to say, Justin. Leave my office this minute. Believe me, I know how you feel. I didn't plan for any of this to happen. You dare come to my office and see utter another bunch of lies. Okay, fine. Maybe I planned this to happen, but trust me, I didn't know you'd be so nice. Leave my office. I have so much work on my table. I'm sorry. I can't leave until you give me a listening ear. I give you five minutes to say what you want to say and leave my office. Thank you. I know I must be the person you hate the most right now in the whole world. I guess this is not what you wanted to talk about. I know I have hurt you. I have broken your heart into pieces. But believe me, I wanted to marry you. <laughs> you wanted to marry me as a second wife. You are a very wonderful person. You don't deserve whatever you went through because of me. That is why I came here to seek for your forgiveness. It is always forgiveness at last. After using me, making me buy you a house worth millions of naira. I gave you money to help your parents out. I gave you a job. I gave you a comfortable life. But what did you give me in return? Heartbreak. I'm sorry. I know sorry alone cannot undo what I did. If there is another word greater than sorry, I will use it. I don't need your sorry, Justin. The deal has already been done. I will return everything you give to me, including the house. You can keep it. I have more than enough money. Thank you. I will never forget your kind gesture towards me. But there is something I cannot let you do. What is that? I can't let you work here anymore. Please submit a residential letter today. Please, please. You know how much I need this job. Are you for real, Justin? I can't let you work here anymore. I can recommend you to another company. Oh, thank you very much. I wish you good luck in your marriage with her. Thank you. Welcome, my love. How was work today? What is in this house to eat? I hope you cooked. Yes, baby, I did. I cooked your favorite. Don't tell me you made that concoction again. But, babe, you told me that was your favorite. I changed my mind a long time ago. That is no longer my favorite. But, babe, you told me that was your favorite. I'm sorry. I didn't know you changed your mind. Just manage it. I'll cook something else later. What is that supposed to mean, Michael? Do you know how hard it is for me to make money? And I am supposed to manage the food you cook with my money? Baby, please, I'm really tired now. I've been doing the house chores since morning. Speaking of the chores, let me check what you've done since morning. Everywhere is sparkling clean. How could you be so lazy, Michael? I leave this house every day to hustle for the both of us, and you can't even keep the house clean. Everywhere is sparkling clean. The house is clean. I took my time to make sure there is no dirt in the house. What do you mean there is no dirt in the house? Are you calling me a liar? I'm sorry, I didn't say that. Why didn't you wash the dishes in the kitchen? I washed everything. Maybe you didn't check well. I have seen one plate in the kitchen unwashed. Oh, maybe the plate I used a few minutes ago. And so? Is that the reason why you didn't wash it? You can't even do your duties properly. I'm sorry. Stop telling me you're sorry and do your job well. I will. No wonder you were sacked. You are nothing but a lazy human being. I'll go wash the plates now. You dare walk out on me, Michael? Hmm. Let's see how you will eat tomorrow. Please, are you busy? I want to have a word with you. What is the problem? If it is money you want, I don't have. No, I don't want money. I want to have a discussion with you. Have a seat. Thank you. I don't know if this is the right time to talk about what I want to talk about. Then you can go back and come back when you feel it's the right time. Hmm. My mother is heavy right now. I don't even know where to start from. You don't have much time here. If I were you, I would start from anywhere. Fever, I'm losing my mind. I'm going into depression little by little. And who is the cause of that? You are torturing me, both emotionally and physically. Sometimes I want to cry, but tears will not come out. I haven't even started, Michael. This is just half of what I went through. I know I was stupid. I didn't know how it feels like to be treated this way. I have changed. No, you haven't. A man as heartless as you can never change. I swear I have. Please, let's put what happened behind us and move ahead. Let me ask you a question. Why did you marry me? I don't know. You had money. You were independent. Until the company told one of us to resign. If you married me because I was independent, why didn't you open a business for me as we planned? When you stayed at home for some time, I realized you wouldn't be submissive to me anymore if I opened a business for you. Can you imagine how shallow-minded you are? You refused starting up a business for me all because of your own selfish interest? I'm sorry. I have changed, I swear. Stop telling me you have changed, Michael. <laughs> you shattered me into pieces.
You hurt me emotionally. You brought in another woman to their house. You stopped me for many days. And you sit here and tell me you have changed? I know no amount of sorry can repair the damages. But please, I have learned my lesson. Did you even love me when you married me? Yes, I did. But not as much as I do now. I feel deeply in love with you, even without knowing. Hmm. Please, give me another chance. I promise to make everything right. I've learned my lessons the hard way. You thought that being a housewife is fun, right? Being a housewife is one of the toughest things ever. Now, I know how it feels to be treated that way. Please stand up. I am not as heartless as you. I have forgiven you. That was the same thing you said to me, but you never forgive me. I forgive you for real. I am sorry for treating you the way I did. Sincerely speaking, I felt bad for you. But I wanted to show you how it feels like to be treated that way. I'm really sorry. Can we start all over again? Of course, baby. We can start it. Oh, Michael, you are here. Good morning, sir. Please have a seat. Thank you. Please, before I get arrested, I would like to say something. You don't have to say anything, Michael. Nobody is arresting you. But I saw your text message where you told me to come over. I thought you wouldn't. I wasn't really expecting to see you anyway. I thought you wouldn't read the message and delete it. That is the last thing I would do. I still have to clear my name that I didn't steal the money. You don't have to clear your name anymore because your name has already been cleared. How do you mean, sir? Felix confessed to us he stole the money. What? Is this some kind of joke or what? This is not a joke, Michael. He confessed to us he stole the money and you went his complice. Why would Felix confess to you after all he had nothing to lose apart from his job anyway? According to him, he said his conscience wouldn't let him rest, so he had to confess to be free. That must have dragged my name to the mud. Where is he right now? He was handed over to the police. He has been charged to court. Oh my god, after everything I went through, I almost had high blood pressure because of this. I was thinking of how to pay such amount of money in six months. Well, it is over now. We are really sorry for what you went through. It's okay, sir. I don't really care about the sorry. At least I'm free now. Yes, you are. And I am glad the truth came out on time. I think this happened for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. Mine is different. Do you mind sharing it with me? I was really bad to my wife when I had this job. But God decided to teach me a lesson by making that happen. My wife punished me for my bad behavior towards her by making me switch roles with her. I realized that being a wife is not easy at all. Yes, being a wife is not easy. And being a husband is not easy too. The two titles has different roles to play in marriage. Exactly. I've learned my lesson and I'll be a good husband to my wife. That is a good decision. But I have some piece of good news for you. What is that, sir? The CEO of the company has decided to give you 5 million naira to compensate you for accusing you wrongly. What? 5 million naira? That is not all. You have, you have gotten your job back with month warranty allowance. Oh my god. Do I really deserve this? Yes, Michael. You deserve it. Thank you very much, Sam. Very grateful. I will definitely resume tomorrow. Man, this is more like a reunion to me. Swears, it's been ages we met each other. I missed her so much. I was so happy when I got the call to come here. I missed you girls. I know so many things happened the period we couldn't meet. A lot, my dear. So many things happened and I could not tell you guys. I was waiting for the day we will gather again like this. Swears, I have a lot of cheese that I don't even know where to start from. Well, let's start from peace. What happened to you these past few months we haven't seen each other and what lesson have you learned? My dear, if I go into details now, it would stay till daybreak. Just summarize it in simple words. The guy I was engaged to had another lady he was in love with. What? Tell me you were joking. It is real. He opened up to me after loving me because of my money. I told you, but you wouldn't listen. I am so sorry for what you went through. I have gotten over it. I need them to do what pleases the society. I never really loved Justin. I wanted to get married to avoid shame and not really because I love my partner. What about now? Now I know better. You have always told me being single is better than being in an abusive marriage. Only God knows what would have happened between Justin and I because obviously there was no love between us. I am so sorry, my dear friend. I have decided to be myself and not please anybody. I will get married at God's appointed time. And if I can't get married, I will establish myself and make a name for myself. That is wonderful. I am glad you have finally realized that if you want to please society, 
by getting married. Society will not be there when things go wrong. You can adopt children to avoid loneliness and put God first in everything you do. Thanks, girls. I'm stronger than before. What about you, Favor? Any gist for us? Nothing much about me, Sha. Only that my husband lost his job, but he has been vindicated and he is a changed man now. My marriage is wonderful and I am glad I married him. This is indeed a reunion for us, but guess what? What? I am pregnant. You are pregnant and you didn't tell us? I wanted to make it a surprise. Wow, congratulations dear. I will soon be a godmother. You better don't draw that position with me. He or she will be my godchild. I know you are just joking. Allow me to be a mother in peace. <laughs> don't worry girls. You both can be their godmothers. Dear, how many are they? Triplets. Wow. Guy, how far now? You look sad. Are you okay? I am fine. I don't want to talk about it. How have the both of you been? You both stopped calling. I was angry with the both of you. And I am still angry. Don't tell me you still kept that thing in your mind till now. I was against it. And that was why I decided to be on my own and stop seeing both of you. Hmm, bro. I wish you were around. At the time things went wrong in my life. I know you would have advised me on what to do. My wife told me already, but it was obvious you didn't need my advice because you came to my wife instead of me. Michael, you cheated on your legally married wife? Shut up. You want to act as if you are any better. What about you that kept two women? I am not supporting Justin, but at least he wasn't married unlike you. Yeah, I know. But that was in the past. I don't do that anymore. My wife is now my priority. I love her so much. Justin, I still with the two women. Please, I don't want to talk about it. Why? I guess it backfired. Hmm. I wanted to marry the both of them, at least one for money and the other for love. But they found that and they both left me. I'm really disappointed at you, Justin. I have always been. There is no need in keeping two women. Treat your woman well and make the 99 others jealous. You are killing yourself too if you keep two women. Be satisfied with one and make her happy. There is no gain in keeping two. I have learnt my lesson and I have lost even. Now I have to start from scratch. Sorry bro, we have learnt our lessons. Hmm, I'm still in shock about what I heard. I really don't know what to do anymore. It's hard to know who to trust and who not to trust. Exactly. You left the first guy because you caught him cheating. You decided to monitor Pascal to avoid him cheating. You ended up losing him. And now you decided to trust the guy so as not to lose him. And he ends up cheating. Truly, this life no balance. It's okay, my dear friend. I guess that is one policy of life. Yeah, I lost the red gem. I still regret why I left Pascal. Maybe I should go back and beg him. Don't even try that. It has been a very long time already. I believe he has moved on. But I can't move on. I need him back. What if Justin of a guy did not break your heart? Would you have remembered Pascal? Hmm, you are right. I have to let go. So what is your plan right now? Will you go back to Justin? Why would you ask me such a question? I can never go back to him. Hmm, okay. This will be a little bit difficult for you. But I believe you will push through. Yes, I will push through. I will love again and I will trust again. But I will not trust to the point of being betrayed again. Please don't punish 10,000 men because of one man. I am hot, Anna. I know. There are still good men out there. Lots of them. Open your heart and you will find love again. I am tired of opening my heart, Anna. I need a break. Haven't you heard of kissing 10,000 frogs before meeting your prince? I want to leave this country for a while. I will come back when I am healed. That's a good idea. I will come with you. Please, don't tell me you don't want to throw a party on your birthday. Seriously, I don't want to. I have work to do. It is always about work. Don't you know that all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy? Well, unfortunately, I'm not Jack and I'm not a boy either. Stop making a joke out of this. This is your 31st birthday and we have to celebrate. Unfortunately, girls, I'm not in the mood for that. Go home, take care of your husband. Okay, fine. Since you don't want to celebrate, come downstairs. We have a surprise for you. Can you both just leave me alone? I'm not going anywhere. Seriously, sis. Don't you want to find out what the surprise is? I don't want to. I know you both want to prank me. No one is pranking you. Just go downstairs and see the surprise for yourself. We will wait here for you. I will not forgive you if this is a prank. 
Yes, ma. Happy birthday, sunshine. Pascal. Don't tell me you are surprised to see me. Of course, I'm surprised to see you. You shouldn't be. I will never miss today for the whole world. Thank you for coming. So you were the surprise my friends were talking about. But you were surprised when you saw me. I was indeed surprised, but how do you know they are my friends? I saw them outside your gate and were coming. They were thinking of what to get for you. So I introduced myself to them and begged them to bring you out that I have a bigger surprise for you. Okay, so what's the surprise? Peace. Oh my God, don't tell me this is real. I have known you for the past few months now, and I have seen what a beautiful soul you are. I have held myself back for so long because I wanted you to heal from your last heartbreak. Since the day I set my eyes on you, I knew you were the one. No woman has ever made me feel the way you do. I don't want to be in a relationship with you. I want to make you my wife. I promise to treat you as a queen that you are. Will you marry me, please? I just hope this is not a dream. It is not a dream, my love. I have planned this for a long time now. It is left for you to just say the word yes, and I promise never to make you regret it. Yes, Pascal, I will marry you. Yes, thank you, honestly. Thank you.